All right, hello guys. I hope my voice is coming good. Am I heard? Peace of Christ to all of you. I don't know if uh, there is a problem with the microphone. Uh, do you hear me? <clears throat> all right. All right. Uh, welcome everybody. Please invite your friends and uh, let us do some work for uh, this evening. Um, as you see today, we added the name of uh, Hijab and Shamsi to our video in purpose. It's very embarrassing that we keep adding their names, but they don't dare to accept the challenge and do debating. <coughs> um, <coughs> I have a look like I have a cold or something. Actually, I have a bad headache too. This has never happened before for many, many years. Mm, I think because I did not drink coffee. Oh, <clears throat> anyway, I am out of coffee. You believe it? Unbelievable. Uh, anyway, uh, <clears throat> somebody posted in the text that I said uh, David Wood is not a debater and he's so upset. And my friend, I don't care if you're upset or not, he is not a debater. And this is why the Muslims are lined up to debate him. Muslims, they line up to debate someone for a reason. You tell me what is the reason. Uh, I'm not putting him down. I'm just stating facts. There are people, they are gifted. Like, you know, Sam Shamoon. If Sam Shamoon was there, Sam Shamoon, he would make he would make all the Muslims cry. He doesn't speak Arabic too. You know? But he will make every, every Abdul cry and use tissues. He will make their floor wet. All right? <clears throat> so I'm not putting down anyone. I'm just stating facts, you know. He did not do good, and he was not doing good. Now, he is better than uh, other Christians who do nothing. You know, we have to give him a credit for that. He is doing his best. So we respect him for that. But is he a debater? No. You know. You see, when you debate, uh, you can watch all the debate between him and Shabir Ali and etc. Shabir Ali, he play all kind of games. David Wood, he read it from his computer. There's no connection between between the two when they are debating. Uh, you watch the debate of Muhammad Hijab, who is a stupid. Muhammad Hijab is certified donkey. You know, there's nobody can can say no. Every answer he gave, it's a priceless for David Wood to take a stand down. But he did not take advantage. Uh, <clears throat> uh, so when we when we when we criticize, we criticize for the benefit of all of us, not to to put the person down. If I did not do good in something, tell me. You know, doesn't hurt. You know, you need to correct me. How many of you correct me sometime because I write words in wrong way? Like let's say uh, I mispronouncing words. Is that an insult? Is that correct? I never get upset. You know, okay, I'm wrong. Here we go. I wrote the word wrong. I have a title actually in the video two days ago, three days ago. It says I approve instead of saying prove, you know. So one of you, he said in the text, uh, uh, CP, this is not proof. It should be proof. Okay, say. <clears throat> why, why people get offended if we say things, you know. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Okay, don't, uh, you know, don't accept what I'm saying. All right. Uh, you know, it's a priceless debate for me if I was there. Uh, this guy, Muhammad Hijab, he said he said things which is really amazing. I find it priceless, as I said. Uh, we should pay him. We as a Christian, we should pay him. <clears throat> All of you now, what remember from this debate? He prayed for not to. <laughs> This is what all the debate is about. I mean, the, the Muslim, they claim that this guy, he made victory. Maybe he's a comedian, and David Wood, he was like sitting still. He's doing nothing. He is not taking action, you know. But the guy, the, 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 uh, this the, uh, hijab, he did, he did what is enough to destroy Islam. I mean, <laughs> it's priceless. So uh, don't be offended. I'm not offending anyone. If I say he's not a debater, I confirm what I am saying, and... The, the, the proof of that, you see, <clears throat> a debater do not need to prepare. 
you do not need to have list of things in your computer you read from your computer I know I have you know I, I use my computer to show people the, the you know but the answer is there right away I will say to him it says and etc 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 you said I said etc this is what debate is about secondly when when you debate with the Muslim <clears throat> you put in your mind that the Muslim he is there to lie not to answer and all of you you know that right so if you are not capable of getting him busted with his lies then what a debate for guys you understand what I'm saying we are not debating with Muslims the debate the, the, the word debate is like between two honest people who they are uh, speaking their belief but this is not the case Muslims they lie you try to make him answer the question he speak about everything else except the question you ask him for so the debater here or the skills of the debater is the one who forced the Abdul to say it <clears throat> Do you remember yesterday we have a Moroccan guy he called me and he starts saying exactly what he said to David Wood Ah, oh, you don't speak Arabic Ah, oh, you don't you know you remember go watch it just yesterday do you remember guys you have to get them busted I did not say to him right away I speak Arabic I was playing him I said okay uh, so what now I don't speak Arabic what I will do let him get excited let him do his stupidity you know you have it's it is like a game between a cat or a, and a rat it's a game and this is what debater is about it's not about somebody he go and collect information from the internet and even or even you know <clears throat> Uh, you see the that the that he used to debate American only for very simple reason they knew nothing about Islam one day he made a mistake he debated an Arab Christian his name Anis Sharush he debated him once he never showed up to the second debate because it was horrible so they choose the, the Muslim they choose the, the one they want to debate for a reason did you ask yourself why this guy is not fighting over to debate Sam Shamu? What's wrong with Sam Shamu? Why do I want to debate him? <laughs> you tell me. You know, all of you know that Sam Shamu is a very smart person. He's very fast. He has a great memory. Um, and there is no Muslim is match to debate him. <clears throat> No Muslim can debate him. He's very well versed in the Bible, which is very, very good. And he is very good in Islamic, you know, religion. And this is why they stay away from him. They are lined up, you know, they are lined up to debate uh, James White. Why? <clears throat> why all the Muslims they want to debate James White? Because he is has, he is harmful. Did I say it a different way? He's useless. And even they like him they say to him God bless you all right so uh, Muslims the, uh, this is why I chose this newspaper is the same as someone reading a newspaper and the newspaper is burning in his hand and this is the Quran and he thinks still he have a, he have a book the Muslim he still think he have a book we are burning their book every day uh, a Muslim he posted in the text uh, he said, you Christians are covered. Jesus says to you, bring them <clears throat> and slay them in the front of me. The donkey, Jesus did not order us to kill anyone. However, the verse you are quoting for us is about Jesus ordering the angels in the judgment day. And you Muslim, you ask us where Jesus said, I am God, worship me. This is You see how silly you are? Same time, you are lucky that Jesus did not say slay them because imagine if he said and we do all Islamic world will not handle two minutes of our power go and look at your country what do you have as an army and what we have so you are lucky my friend that Jesus was teaching peace and love not slay them like Muhammad otherwise you are no match uh, when the Muslim always try you know when he get angry and he speak uh, 
against uh, against Christianity he is just desperate he have a prophet who have no prophecy he have no miracles he have no religion he have no God yet he want to defend his cult and when they debate a Christian about Islam <clears throat> They, you know, they don't debate any Christian. They simply they try to make a mockery. If you are a polite person, this is why you should not be polite. You see, there's many Christians. They say to me, "You are not being polite." I'm not going to be polite with the devil. Give me a reason to be polite. I showed you from the Quran that the Muslims been taught that the Christians are nice because Allah He cursed them, so they believe that this is a curse. This is not because you are a nice person following Jesus. <clears throat> And if you go and check the Bible, you will see that the God of the Bible, he taught us to be firm, strong, and to speak the truth, and not to be nice. Nice is not really a correct word. When Jesus entered the temple, and he flipped the tables on those who they are, they made the house of my father a place of buying and selling. Why you don't want to be that, Jesus? You be we want to be only you know like the, your own version of Jesus you know you go to churches they quote for you only one verse of Jesus saying that uh, the one who hit you on your right cheek give him <clears throat> the other cheek but they will not quote to you that Jesus said go and buy two swords you know go, go and buy a sword they told him we have two swords he said enough I never saw any church quoting that you know so they want us Christians not to be armed I don't know why since when you know, isn't it the Bible is our book? How many how many times the people of God they went into war and God was with them? You see, there is a huge difference between that Christ He taught us to be peaceful and Christ taught us to be cowards. Christ is not a coward and he never taught us to be cowards. But there is many they want you to be the coward version. There is many they start spreading lies about the crusade that the crusade they are criminals they are bad because they want you to be a coward they don't want you to be crusade again the crusade is the right thing to be done because simply if not the crusade the muslim will not stop you see the muslim they took jerusalem okay did they stop no they took constantinia okay did they stop no they took greece okay did they stop no they took romania they took Hungary, they took Bulgaria, they went all the way to France. Did they stop? They took Spain. Did they stop? Are you getting it, guys? Do you understand what I'm saying? If not the crusade, all of Europe will be Islamic from a long time. It's going to be a savage land. Where people piss with their penis holding their hand on the wall. The white people didn't want to see the truth. All right. And today, <clears throat> How many churches they are standing against Islam? There's even churches they are inviting Muslims to teach about Islam in their churches. You know, this is what happened when you are perfectly correct. You know, you are not Christian no more. The second you are perfectly correct, you are not Christian. You are just a fake version made in China. You know, like today you buy a computer made by Mac. You open the cover, you find it's made. The hard drive is made in China. The memory made in China. The keyboard made in uh, Hong Kong. You know, they are no Christian. They are false. Uh, right now, as we speak, Turkey is a threatening Greece of invasion. Now. You know, they took already half of Cyprus. What the European country doing? Nothing. They're watching. They don't care. They took half of Cyprus just not a few years ago. None of the European countries move or do anything. They don't care. You know, 
this is what happened to you when you are under the command of liberals they don't care they don't have a belt they don't have panties and they are busy drinking and the Christians are isolated in their churches and they took the power from them and today the second in Europe you speak about God in the way you should speak about it they close your church they accuse you to be fascist why because you cannot say what you are saying you can't say Islam is a is a is, is, is devilish you can't say Islam is evil but I was in France just a few months ago you walk in the street there is five soldiers in the rest and the, the left five soldiers in the right heavily armed okay why you are heavily armed because of Islam so why are you liars saying to us that Islam is peace but yet in, in the street you have soldiers to protect people walking in the street army should be in the borders not inside the street so if Islam is peace just yesterday they arrested today actually arrested a Lebanese Muslim in Italy he was going to put bacterias and chemical poison in drinking water in a big city in Italy two days before they arrested the three Muslims in Italy too and now they have more than 280 Muslims arrested in, in one week but yet you cannot say Islam is a bad religion why we don't see Christians when about poison for Muslims in, in Cairo you know we have we have more more than 15 to 18 million Muslim uh, Christians in, in Egypt alone we are not little minority we can do a lot if we want to do uh, uh, terrorism we can flip the country upside down but we don't do that we are Christians so the second you say the truth the second they accuse you of all kind of ugly stuff in order to, to, to mute you no my friend Christianity is not only not only a life it is the fastest growing belief not by birth control by birth birth, birth rate but by conversion I went to China and the China is the, the Chinese government they do not know how to con how they can stop Christianity Christianity is written in China like I don't want to use the word fire but like light every week they destroy a church in China mega church the number of believers in, Ch in China is beyond imagination and China is going to be the coming giant Christian country just watch I went to Korea Korea used to be zero Christian right now in Korea you know uh, 20 years ago it was uh, there's only 20% left or let's say 15% left of Buddha even those 15% now they are not even 5% which means almost the country is 95% Christians North Korea is going to become a Christian country too just wait and here every day we hear a Muslim leaving Islam just today in the previous program how many Muslim they they said clearly that we are you know we are not Muslim no more the Muslim who called us and say Quran is corrupt hadith is corrupt Islam is corrupt they left Islam Go and watch my program, which the one I did in the morning, and laugh. <clears throat> Rish, Rush, 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 Russia is becoming Christian. My friend, Russia, Russia is a Christian since a thousand years ago. What are you talking about? The communists, they took over, but thanks God, the communists are gone, and, Christian, and Russia is a Christian country again. Uh... Just last week, the the Tunis government, Tunisia, they announced that they don't want any Sharia law to be part of their country, and from now on, women she will inherit equally as men in the country because no Sharia, and even Muslim women they can marry from non-Muslims because there is no Sharia. Country by country, they are getting rid of Islamic law. You know, look what happened in Egypt. Egypt is a very center country for Islam or central country when the Muslim Brotherhood took over and they want to practice what they call Sharia law 30 million Egyptian they throw them in the garbage 
and they kick them out and now the Muslim Brotherhood is in the run the Kuwaiti Parliament voted that Kuwaiti citizen they can accept and they can convert to Christianity this is in the heart of the Gulf the prince or the crown prince of Saudi Arabia he met with the highest leaders of, of, of churches in USA preparing for opening many churches in Saudi Arabia is going to happen sooner or later in Emirat, a lot of people live in Islam and they are converted to Christianity in the heart of Islamic countries and somebody said to me that you are being covered you are fighting from behind the computer the idiot himself you forgot that he himself is behind the computer and my friend I can do behind the computer what I cannot do in person if I go right now to teach about Jesus in the street how many people will listen to me here we go now it is 9 10 p.m. my street is empty it's freezing outside it's minus seven <laughs> who is going to listen to me people they will say look at this idiot we are dying from cold and he was stopping us to talk about Jesus now so my friend the computer is the best way and obviously I'm hurting you and this is why you are so upset this is why you are so upset why I need the uh, you know okay uh, you see uh, 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 10 days ago or 15 days ago I went to uh, uh, to Texas how big the church is it's a big church actually it's a huge church and I spoke for one hour okay but it cost me a lot of money to go there Co cost me almost a thousand dollar from my pocket I did not even get a penny from the church so imagine if each time I want to talk even if there is people who listen, it's going to speak, it cost me a thousand dollar. How many thousand dollar I can afford to spend? Right now, I can speak from people to people around the world, in Asia and in Indonesia. If you go to my uh, to uh, the the uh, YouTube channel info, you will uh, you will see that the second country watch my videos is Indonesia. You believe it the second country is Indonesia but Indonesia is a Muslim country majority is Muslim few Christians who practice Christianity no my friend there is a big number of Christian practice Christianity you are wrong you have no idea there is no Muslim practice Islam. This is the truth. Which country is a practice in the jizya? Hmm? If we count the Islamic country numbers, which one of them is a practice in jizya, stoning, cutting hands, cutting feet, crucifixion? Where well, can you know them for me? The only country is Saudi Arabia. And Saudi Arabia does not even do all the, the Sharia law, part of it. Why you are up 3 a.m. in the in the morning in France, my friend? You better sleep. <clears throat> All of you Muslims don't practice Islam. Where is the Muslim when I do jihad? Uh, 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 the Prophet of Islam he said jihad is the best is the best servant to Allah or service to Allah. Here we go, ISIS. They did make a state, and they asked the Muslim to join them they cry and they ask for help and they do all the propaganda they posted millions of videos asking the muslim to join jihad and nobody will where is the muslims and now isis is gone why because nobody will, no, no, none of you believe in the versions only those who believe in the versions went and joined them and they get screwed they die all of them and then now their women are slaves of the Shia, the Shia and the Kurdish. 
they capture them and the Shia are raping them the Shia even they are raping the men with the arrest Now, do we have any Muslim want to say something to us? He would like to call so we can open Skype for him. Anyone? Who is a Muslim would like to call me? Let me open my Skype so to see if we can have a Muslim here when I call us and tell us something good about Islam. It's like a small conversation, you know. It's not uh, we, we can't call a, a, a debate. I, I never debated a Muslim actually. It's just a snack. Snack talk. It is open Skype. <clears throat> Here we go. Skype is open in case any Muslim want to call us. If there is any Muslim would like to call, anyone? Nobody? Yeah, this is my Skype ID. Please call me if you like to to um, say something useful. <clears throat> uh, you want to debate me about biblical science? Well, we don't believe that the book is the the Bible is the book of science. Anyway, that's stupid of you. It's you Muslims who put God and science together. We don't. As an example, there's many things in the Bible that doesn't fit with science. As an example, Jesus is a son of a virgin. Correct, guys? Science does not accept that a woman can have a baby without a man. Is that correct? So we believe that God, he can do what science cannot do. Science have the logic of, you know, let us say, a pattern of nature, and we claim it to be science. But doesn't mean that this is how everything is done. God, he do not need your science, and he is not under your science. When Jesus, he made the water wine, was it that scientifically correct? Was that done by science? Guys, do you understand me? And NASA had lied. Ah, okay. No, I showed you about the Earth as being like a sphere, just to show you how stupid Muslims when they say that the Earth is flat. You can compare NASA lie. What about your Islamic books? You can go open any Islamic book in your country, and you will find even your books is teaching you that the Earth is not a flat, my friend. So we don't believe in science to prove who is Jesus. When Jesus he made the wine the water wine he did not use science he did not use chemic he just ordered it to be and it was okay call me destroy my career my friend go ahead why you don't call me don't forget to bring a newspaper with you i have the lighter here call me <clears throat> You know, the Muslims, they have tons of uh, false claim about Quran and miracle, and all of them, they are a joke. I never saw a stupid religion more stupid than Islam. Actually, the word stupid is an insult to stupidity if I compare it to Islam. Islam does not fit even with the word stupid. It's beyond stupidity. You know, when somebody uh, believe that there is God, he will give him endless penis, you, you need to check his penis. I mean, not, not sorry, not his penis. You need to check his brain because obviously he have endless stupidity. Why? Ask yourself, my wife is next to me and my penis is endless. What is that for? Who is the donkey here? Endless penis? I mean, imagine your wife is sitting next to you in the bed or in the couch, and now your penis is going to the seven galaxies, and you receive a phone call from China. You answer the phone, you say to you, Ching -ho, Ching -ho. 
uh, translation. Please, can you move your penis from the highway? You are blocking the road. What if your penis, which is endless, went all the way in the Amazon jungles? Do you know what kind of ants there is there? I'm serious in, in there. You know, there's deadly ants. They will they will eat the hair of your of your penis. What kind of God he promised you such a promise? And what kind of a human who believe in such a stupidity? You have mental issue, seriously. But what about the prophet? He said that every woman in heaven, her ass will be one mile. I mean, what if I like it to be half mile? You see, all of us, we like big screen. I agree. We like big screen TV, like 60 inch, 70 inch. If we can afford to buy 80 inch, we'll buy it. But one mile ass, may Allah ask you, what you would do with wife she, if, her, if her ass is one mile? What if she fart on you and you are smoking a cigarette? Don't you know? Don't you know that fart is a flammable? One mile ass. What if she sit in the top of you? Okay, she's your wife. She she's allowed to do that. She wanna spoil you, huh? How will come find you after that? You will be like a mosquito inside her ass. What if your ass? Oh, sorry. If what if your wife she decide to do poo poo? One mile ass, how much poo, poo will come out a day? Are you going to open a manufacturer for fertilizing? You want to put them in cases and sell them for farmers to do fertilizing for farmers? How, how in the world people believe in such a garbage, man? I mean, what's wrong with you? This is a religion? And this is God? And this is Muhammad and the, the Prophet Muhammad, peace upon him. Yeah. I mean, yeah, show me the Prophet, peace upon him. This guy, he cannot open his mouth without doing poo poo. Everybody do poo poo from his bum except Muhammad. He do it from his mouth. What's wrong with you, Muslims? Let us read some knowledge from the Prophet Muhammad, peace upon him. You know, the Prophet Muhammad is amazing. I mean, who, come on. Who knows, who knows more than the Prophet Muhammad? Nobody. Oh, let us see. <laughs> oh, boy. <coughs> All right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, let us talk about this one here. For a love, nothing personal. Ah, uh, oh boy, look at this. Hmm. Muhammad, he is uh, the weather and the scientist. He knows everything. Look what Muhammad here. What what happened here? Muhammad he saw a cloud in the sky. He said, "This is al mazan or mazan." They said to him, "What is the mazan? What is that?" What do you call this? Muhammad is asking his followers. They say the cloud. <laughs> it's a cloud. But Muhammad have different name for it. Hold on. He said this is the mazan. Okay. They said, and mazan, like what is that? You know? He said, and anan cloud. Uh huh. Abu Bakr said, they said, and Anan, he said, How much distance do you think there is between you and the heaven? Look, 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 look how Muhammad is looking at the cloud, and now he's trying to speak about the distance between us and that cloud because this is the heaven. They said, We don't know. We don't know. You don't, you know better. You are the prophet. Come on, tell us something. So he said, between you 
and it is 71 or 72 or 73 years <laughs> to be honest i'm not sure let us see 71 72 hmm, maybe 73 years all right i mean allah did not give him the exact details you see he is measuring by eyes now. <laughs> And there is a similar distance between it and above it so between every heaven and the other heaven there is 73 years uh, abdul 73 years in the speed of what i mean don't you see it's stupid to say that between us and them 73 years is that walking or by camel for sure muhammad either talking about walking or camel and that's really stupid i mean 73 years to go to the cloud that's false you do not need 73 years if you have a road it doesn't take a year to go to the cloud it doesn't take a six months it doesn't take three months it doesn't take a month it doesn't take uh, two weeks and then Muhammad he continue and look what he say here there's more more donkey stuff is coming and there is similar distance between between it and between the heaven above it and so on until he counted seven heavens and look what is above the seven heaven there is a sea <laughs> oh boy i hate it there is a sea in the heaven there is a sea abdul and this is how Muhammad trying to explain to us where the water is coming from. Hey guys, wanna go and do fishing with me in the sky? There is a sea. There is a sea. Let me predict what will happen. In two or three thousand years from now, somebody will discover that the planet have water. Or let us say Mars. The Muslim they say, see, the Prophet said there is a sea. <laughs> <laughs> oh <coughs> okay between who is top and the bottom is a distance like between one heaven and the other but hold on based on this hadith the sea is a flying by itself the sea there's no there, he did not say there is a planet he didn't you see he said there is a sea there's a sea flying by itself in the sky. And this is where in the top of the seven heaven. This is the house of Allah. Because remember, Allah is in the top of the seven heaven. Any Muslim have any comment? And then Muhammad, he continued doing pupu. I mean, the pupu is not over. And then he said, and between who is top and bottom top and bottom sound like a gay stuff between who is top and bottom is the distance like the between the heaven and the other anyone understand anything and then above that there is eight by the way it doesn't say angels it says eight what what they call the what the name of the uh, the, the the deer the male the male deer the one the one uh, santa claus he uh, they carry him what they call him what they call them in english somebody help help my english is not good as you know what we call that box box yeah box so there is eight box of mountains goats <laughs> <laughs> oh boy uh, what I can say Muhammad is saying the truth here I mean that's it there's eight mountain goats the distance between their hooves hello <coughs> hello are you there
don't call me my friend if you will not talk so there's eight mountain goats the distance between their hooves and their knees is like the distance between the heaven and the next one Oof. me if 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 I mean, do you see how big? Guys, come on, we have to be honest here. Somebody give a hand to Muhammad. Muhammad is not fabricating stories at all. There's eight mountain goats, and the distance between between their hooves and their knees. That's just the hooves and the knees, not all of them. No, 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 that's, this is just from the whole the hooves to the <laughs> oh boy. Prophet, when the prophet of Allah he say, This is I'm telling you the truth, it means it's absolutely the truth. Okay, continue, Muhammad. Continue. Do more do, do more poo -poo. Okay, then he said, then on their backs is the throne. Like, what the heck? Allah is sitting in the top of eight mountain goats. <laughs> okay. Then on their back is the throne. Throne of who? The throne of Allah. And the distance between the top and the bottom of the throne is like the distance between one heaven and another. Then Allah is above that. Ta -ta 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 the end of the story guys now you can go to sleep and you can have a nice dream now more you have do we have any Muslim here have a comment about his prophet saying those crazy stupid stuff who of you believe Muslims that Allah is sitting at the top of eight mountain goats Meh, meh. Hey, God, don't move. I am Allah. Are they fixed? Those man, those goat. Do, do they take a break? Yeah, Abdul. Those goats who they are carrying Allah throne. Do they take a break? I mean, like maybe one one go to sleep, the other one stay. They are mountain goats. How they can stay forever carrying Allah? And why Allah he need mountain goats to carry him? Is that Santa Claus? Mountain goat, mountain goat. I mean, this is knowledge. Who can say Muhammad is not telling the truth here? Who is a Muslim here? Don't agree with this. Do you dare to to say this? I cannot believe in this. By the way, there's a, this, this is supported by the Quran because the Quran says that uh, and uh, you know, Allah will be carried by eight, uh, by eight. So Muhammad here is confirming that there are eight. Any Abdul? Hello? I see like the Muslims are getting upset. Uh, can you get a from and come out to speaker corner to debate Muslims? My friend, why I want to go to speaker corner? Are you stupid or what? Is it this is a speaker corner? How many people in speaker corner? Here we go. I opened 15 minutes ago. I have 500 people listening to me. Sitting in my couch in my house, warm and cozy. And no Muslim there to debate me. <laughs> Why you want me to go to speaker corner where people they shout and scream at each other and nobody listening and nobody give approval of anything? Here I show you in the front of your eyes, I got you busted. Do you see? I show it to you from your website, from your Islamic books. What speaker corner? Is it this is a corner? This is a big corner. YouTube is the biggest corner in the world. There's billions of people use YouTube. Not millions, billions. You are the one who don't dare to come to me. It's going to cost you free free call over Skype. That's it. Call me. Call me and Allah will give you one of those goats. 
No, nobody. I'm not afraid of anyone to kill me, my friend. You see, I went through things you will not even believe it. I'm the last one to be to be afraid of being being killed because if I will be killed, should be killed from long time ago. Long time ago. Do we have any Abdul when I explain to us what's happening here? Yeah, a lot of people leave Islam and I am behind my computer. What's wrong with that? I like it. I love it. I go to my kitchen, make some tea, come back, speak to everybody. Everybody enjoy uh, listening. There's no noise. There's no shouting except when a Muslim call and we get him busted, but we have to do it. What we can do. Right. Uh, thank you guys for the donation. Uh, please don't forget to make donation to Muhammad Hijab. He needs 50,000 uh, pounds. <laughs> Brother and sister, as you see, we are the only one can defend Islam. There's 160,000 Muslims left Islam, brother and sisters. Did you see the video Muhammad Hijab and the Samsi and the, what his name, uh, his nurse, Ali Dawa, they did? Few hours after the debate of David Wood, they thought they made victory. So now it's time to collect the money before people they forget. So right away, they made a video that says, Brother and sisters, and hijab he started reciting the Quran. Let, let, let me show you what he, he was reciting. Let me show you the scam of the Islam. Look what they were reciting. They were reciting this verse. Try not to laugh. <laughs> Chapter 2, verse number 245, which is saying, who, who is going to lend Allah a mortgage? Who want to give Allah a mortgage? Brothers and sisters, please. We need a mortgage donation, please. We need only 50,000 pounds. Why a speaker corner, he need 50,000 pounds? You tell me. Tell me, tell me why he need 50,000 pounds a month. Speaker corner. I mean, what his tool? He wear his shoes. He pay for the bus or the train. He go to the train. He go in the, in the, in the speaker corner. And he uses voice. Why he need fifty thousand donation, brother and sisters? We need a we need a studio. Studio, you, you you're a speaker corner. What studio? What a scam! Let me show you the verse he was reading. This website is not working. Like it doesn't take you right away to the the verse you are quoting. Read, 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 read Allah. Muhammad he was begging for money the same as Muslims now. Who, who is he? Brothers and sisters, who is he that will loan Allah a beautiful loan? Please, Allah need a beautiful loan. Allah was rejected by Visa card. He was rejected by MasterCard because it's owned by the Jews. And Allah is asking you, please, who want to give Allah a beautiful loan? Have you ever heard of a God is asking for a loan? Allah, the God of the universe. He cannot put his hand in his pocket and get some Muhammad some diamonds. Put some diamonds somewhere and say, Muhammad, go open, 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 dig here, dig here, you will find diamonds. He need a loan? Please, please, please. Who is going? And Muhammad Hijab was, was singing this and his voice is so ugly. So at least pay me, Muhammad Hijab. I will sing it for you. People like my voice. I mean, the Quran with your voice look like really a disaster. Go on, you can listen to his video, by the way. About it. You, you, you see, I wish I can play it for you. You will die laughing from the ugly voice and how he sing the Quran. Brothers, who will give Allah a beautiful loan, which Allah will double, will double into you. My friend, why you want to double? Go to Bank of America, give them the money. They will give it to you five times more after, after 15 years. Forget about Allah, double. Bank of America is different, it's better, it's guaranteed. Those guys will scam you. They will never return the money to you. Allah will give us double for us. Credit? Did, did, guys, did, did you see? Did you, did you see what it says there? Who is that? He will loan Allah a beautiful loan, which Allah will double into his credit and multiply many, many times. How you say double and you say multiply many times? You just say the word double, you idiot. Didn't you just say the word double? How it is multiply many times and you said the word double? 
Unbelievable. Do we have any Muslim here want to give Allah alone? Any Muslim want to give Allah alone? I need alone. Leave me alone. <laughs> Leave Britney alone. <laughs> oh. Hmm. And Muhammad do not need defending since when does the truth need defending? Lies need to be defend, not the truth. Yeah, you are right, Warid. So why your prophet he ordered the Muslims to kill the Christians and the Jews? Why Allah do not kill the Christian and the Jews? Do you have an answer? Why Allah he needed the Muslim, he needed little Abdul to go and do jihad for him. Why Allah he needed a 16 years old kid to explode himself in a truck? What is the context of this verse? The context is very easy. You know, Muhammad is trying to make them pay him money. Because God do not need them alone. Did, G, did Jesus, you know, was, was he begging people for money? You see, Jesus, when he resurrects people from death, can you imagine how much money he can make if he is about money? We are talking about God. What money? And Muhammad, he took the fifth from every attack to his pocket. He made a verse in the Quran saying that Allah, because they used to fight over the booty. Do you remember the verse in the Quran where the Muslims accused Muhammad that he was still in underwear? At that moment, the Muslim, they were fighting with Muhammad over the booty. You took this, I took that. You took the TV, I take the radio. You took the cell phone. Who took the iPhone? Galaxy, who took Galaxy? The phone of Christian Prince, who took it? I killed the Christian prince. Who took it? The phone of our Christian. They are fighting over, over the booty. So Muhammad, he have to make a verse to make it clear that the best of the booty will go to himself. In chapter 3, verse 161, the Muslims are fighting over the booty, accusing Muhammad of stealing an underwear, red underwear. And if I am lying, prove me wrong. Who is a Muslim when I call me life? Get me busted. Any Muslim want to do so? Tell me, tell me you are a liar. Show me where you get this from. And then we will see. Hmm? Let us see if this is true or not. A prophet, he was accused of stealing an underwear. How that can happen? I mean, and who is accusing him? The Muslims. This is this is showing us what kind of equality those Muslims are. Read with me. This is Tafsir al Jalali. When some red velvet cloth went missing in the day of Badr, what the heck? Allah, He make a chapter in the Quran. Send Jibreel. Speaking about an underwear is went missing. Allah was in his kitchen. He received a phone call. It was Dr. Zakir Naik. Assalamu alaikum. Who is this? I'm Dr. Zakir Naik, brother. What brother? I am your God. I'm Allah. Oh, sorry, sorry, Allah, brother. Thank you. But I have something very urgent. I want you to help the Prophet Muhammad immediately, brother. I told you, don't call me brother. I am Allah. Sorry, sorry. Almighty, sorry. Uh, the, the the prophet Muhammad was accused was accused by the believer that he stole an underwear. He stole what? An underwear. Are you serious? I swear by all the underwear of the world. And Allah went right away, and he took his pen and he started thinking, huh, "What I will send to those savage companion of the prophet? They accuse my man that he stole an underwear." Hmm. Okay, let me tell them. It is not possible that a prophet, he will steal underwear. You idiot, prophet, he will steal bikini, not underwear. Are you stupid or what? This is God is talking here. God, he is sending a message over a bikini.
And the funny Allah, he sent the message saying, it is not Muhammad who took the bikini, but he did not tell us until now, where is the bikini? I mean, shouldn't he tell us who took it? Should we call uh, Detective Columbus? Or the Pink Panther? What is that? Adam Salah, what is the source? What look at this guy saying what the source? This is your this is your Muslim book, uh, Jalalain, Tafsir Jalalain. Allah he sent a verse saying it is not Muhammad, he took the bikini, but he did not tell us where is the bikini. Obviously, it is Muhammad who took it, otherwise, he should give us an answer where it is. Isn't it he God who knows everything? I wish he sent us a verse to tell us where is the bikini or a chapter, it's called the bikini where is the bikini or let us say we know we name the chapter the big the bikini finder or the lost bikini Ugh, me. Mm. any Abdul any Abdul have an answer for this disaster what is that this is God talking about a bikini and why the Muslim accusing Muhammad of stealing underwear? And by the way, I, I want to know. I want to know seriously who is the one who took the underwear, and I want the underwear because we want to put it in the museum of Islam. This underwear enter, enter, enter into, I mean, eternity. Look, Allah Himself, He have to talk because of an underwear. Any Muslim have an objection? Who is a Muslim wanna call me? And tell me you are lying. I don't want to do that. Brother Sitter, there the person, his name is the Christian Prince. And this guy, or would he fabricate light about the Prophet Muhammad? And this is one of the lies. He said that the Prophet was accused that he stole an underwear. In fact, it was not an underwear, it was a bra. It was a woman bra from the people of Quraysh. He is a liar and is it not truthful? And there is a huge difference between a bra and, a, and, and underwear. And I will explain to you why. The bra is more clean and it holds nipples. The underwear, it can be dirty. And the prophet, there is no way it's going to buy it or take it or steal it unless he is going to sniff it. <laughs> and there is no way the prophet he will sniff an underwear of a woman. Thank you very much. Muslims. Why they are fighting over the specific clothes? What is important about it? Huh? The lion cage? Yeah, right. Your lion cage. Are we going to fight the underwear is missing in the lion cage, Abdul? As long as you are a lion and you are in the cage, let me open the cage for you so you come to me, you idiot. So when you will get out of the lion cage, because a lion inside the cage, as you claim yourself, that means you are a cat. And we put you in the cage. Who is Abdul when I come out of the cage and call us? A prophet? Who was accused of a stealing underwear? Yeah. Keyboard warrior, hmm. your God Allah, he never even used a he, your God Allah, he used a tablet warrior. Nobody saw Allah, nobody spoke to Allah. He have a tablet between the eyes of the angel Israfil. How come you don't complain? Hypocrite. Did you ask yourself why Allah never spoke to Muhammad? I mean, look, Allah spoke to Shaitan, Allah spoke to Mary, Allah spoke to Jesus, Allah spoke to Moses, Allah spoke to, Moses. Allah spoke to Adam. Allah spoke to Abraham. Allah spoke to, to, to everyone. But Allah don't want to speak to Muhammad. Why? Any Muslim can tell us? Was Allah at that time uh, afraid of Muhammad? He was hiding? <coughs> I am a fool. Why am I a fool? Here we go. You have a prophet and accused by Muslims of sin underwear. Why? <coughs> What kind of a foolish God he make a chapter speaking about an underwear missing? Let me show you who is the fool. 
as long you are talking about coward and brave do you know that your prophet when he received the chapter of al-fatiha he received it when he was doing poo, poo and each time the angel he speak to him he flee and the shit is coming from his ass do you know that let me show you excuse my language i have to say it as it is read with me Asbab al nuzul the book of Asbab al nuzul which means the reason for the chapter to come down. The chapter of Fatiha, which the Muslims recite five times a day, it was, the occasion was shit giving. Excuse my language. Read with me. Whenever, 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 whenever he went out, who? Muhammad. He used to hear someone calling him, Oh, Muhammad. And whenever he heard that, he used to flee. <laughs> Muhammad, stop, Muhammad. I can't stop, I can't stop, I can't stop, I can't stop. I can't stop. I can't stop. <laughs> Muhammad, where are you going, man? Stop, the poopoo is coming out of your bum. Come on, don't do that. Muhammad, Muhammad. Is that the prophet of God? Whenever he go out to do poopoo, the angel, he come to him and he said to him, Oh, Muhammad. I mean, say to him, Assalamu alaikum first. You scared the hell of the guy. It's dark and he is doing poo poo. Who is the coward? Any Muslim can explain to me why Muhammad is running like a crazy and he didn't even took panty up? How he can run, by the way? Any Muslim? Am I lying, guys? Or I'm showing the reference in front of you? Am I lying? Oh, Muhammad. What the heck? Hey, guys, I I'm going to go outside and I want to do poo poo. It's dark. I hope the angel Jibreel will not come to me. And look at this idiot Jibreel. I mean, can't you wait until the guy finish it? Can't you talk to him when he get inside the house? I mean, why you ask? Can't you wait until the morning? And look, whenever he went out, he used to hear someone calling him, Oh, Muhammad. I mean, if the guy, he go out, he hear the voice, Muhammad. <coughs> Let me have to do it. Has a mistake in Arabic mentioned to people, you know. My friend, I don't want to talk about Arabic mistakes now because none of you speak Arabic anyway. What's the point? In order to explain Arabic mistakes, you have to speak with people who speak Arabic. Otherwise, it's a waste of time. Any Abdul have an answer? You keep talking about coward, coward, coward. Isn't it your prophet who run and ask asylum like you in Ethiopia to the Christians and he bowed down to the king of the Ethiopian? Isn't it your prophet he went and run away and asked asylum between the Jews and Yathrib and later he killed them all? Hello? Yeah, each time the Muslims they go in war with with the with the with Israel, Israel, they lose the war and then celebrate victory. <clears throat> Actually, the, the 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 Muslims in Gaza they were dancing in the street because the the Israeli they decide to stop the assault on them. <laughs> the assault back uh, because they knew it was going to be really bad for them but you know this is what I say the Israeli government you see the is Israel they have a very corrupt government this Netanyahu is a scumbag Israel will never have real victory unless they have someone like David a real king someone is not politically correct and he don't fear anyone someone he believe in God that God is with him those are politically correct politician they are not leaders you see israel was attacked was attacked by hezbollah for more than 20 years and because they have a potato prime ministers all those years nothing happened then they decide suddenly the israeli decide to make what is right so they attack hezbollah attack as never before and since then since then, 2006, Hezbollah did not dare to fart. 
even farting is not allowed for Hezbollah since then Hezbollah don't dare even to use firework <clears throat> so I hope Israel will have a real leader soon by the way if somebody have a connection with the Israeli I can volunteer for two years to be a president of Israel or Prime Minister of Israel and I guarantee you I will send Hamas to the moon and I will sing for them a song it's called one way take it to the moon one way one way one way take it one way one way I will give them the donkey of the Prophet Muhammad and they can fly with it all the way to the moon just give me the Israeli army for six months. Six months, not even eight. And you will see. I will make you praise Allah every second. <clears throat> Why the Muslim they dye their uh, their beard red? Because the Prophet he used to dye it red. He wanna be redhead. He wanna join the KKK. <clears throat> have you ever heard of a, I mean and, and by the way it's ugly it's not blonde it's red I mean it's really disgusting go and see in the internet like search for shake with red with red beard and you see what they were talking about it's really ugly because you know you see when somebody have a red head that the hair fit with the color of his, his skin you know what I mean so it doesn't fit for everybody so when you are an Arab and you make your beard red it, it looked like you look like the devil it doesn't match like uh, Arab are not not dark they are like you know a fair color but when you make it red red it's red it's like fire it's not it's not it's not blonde it is really disgusting it's stupid this is not a real color <clears throat> This is remind me when people they ask me where are you from? I say I'm a black blonde African American from Japan. That is Muhammad. But Muhammad, he don't want to be African, he don't want to be Japanese, he don't want to be Asian, he wanna be redhead. Muhammad is the greatest of creation. Yeah, I agree. According to your hadith, Muhammad he used to have sex with all his wife in 15 minutes. Look like your God Allah did the creator rabbit without even washing without what without washing I mean the guy he was jumping from a woman to a woman like 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 a goat and by the way all of this is a lie we find that Muhammad the hadith confirmed that Muhammad cannot even have sex with one Any Muslim want to challenge me on that? That Muhammad cannot have sex, even one? This is why there's a chapter in the Quran where people accuse Muhammad that he cannot have sex and he cannot have children. Hmm? Any Abdul? Who is a Muslim when I call us? Look like today we are out of Abdul. Hello? If there's any Muslim would like to call us. Listen, Abdul, actually this is your opportunity to make victory. I have a headache. I did not drink coffee today. I am out of coffee. It's very cold. It's minus seven. So you, this is your best. I'm, I'm very weak, by the way, when it's cold. Like if you touch me, I fell down in the ground. I mean, this is your, this is your perfect opportunity, brother. That I, I can play for you what Zachary Naik he said about debating Christian prince. Zachary Naik he said, brother Tata, if you are debate Christian prince, first of all, you have to understand the terms and the condition. Number one, never debate Christian prince when it's hot, because when it's hot, it's hot. Debate him when it's cold. So ask him what is the temperature in your area. If he said it's minus, call him. 
He's very weak. Zach and Nick, why you don't call me when it is cold, man? Why you don't do it yourself? Why you're asking the Muslim to do it, but you don't do it, Abdul? What an idiot. Hello? Any caller? <coughs> Anyone? Any two? Sold. Nobody? Nobody. All right, let us look for something more, more effective for the Muslims. You see, we were re we were reading about Allah will be sitting in the top of eight mountain goats, and we arrive where oh, we have a caller. <coughs> Hello. Hello, am I speaking to Christian Prince? Yes, my friend, you are. Uh, actually, I want to stay anonymous for this. No I don't want to reveal my name. Uh, I actually I'm an ex-Muslim and I belong to a Muslim family. All right. And you have been doing a really good job of, at exposing Islam. I admire you a lot. Right. But I think it's really hard to convince Muslim. I even myself try to convince my friends. But you know they come with a lot of absurd explanations to, uh, to, to, to defend their religion. But good luck with you. I, actually, I have actually a question for you. Okay. <laughs> regarding, regarding Christianity. Because I, I, now actually I'm an atheist. I, I don't believe in God's such thing. Mm -hmm. uh, I actually want to ask you a question regarding Christianity. Like Jesus used to perform miracles. He used to bring dead back to life, uh, give vision uh, to, the, I mean, those blind peoples. I mean, I wanted to ask you, how do you actually believe in those things? Like how it's real? What is the proof like? Jesus really did it. Uh, I mean, you were not there to witness those things in person. Yeah, but you know, my um, friend, this is, is this, the, this is what is unique. Okay, this is what you need about. Oh, no problem. This is what is unique about Christianity that until now, until today, Christians they witness to a, a lot of miracles every day in the name of Jesus. So yeah, because the, I've had a good, I, had, I don't have a good understanding of Christianity. Yeah, but miracles is not not happening only in the time of Jesus. It's happening today. And there's nobody can explain why unless it is true you know uh, me, me myself I witness a, a miracle of, of somebody you know for sure God he chose who he would do a miracle to who and when we cannot say why and how uh, which mean I if I ask God for a miracle now let us say I am a person who is sick or something happened to me maybe God will heal, heal me maybe not but there is people who they are healed by God even doctors they could not understand and they say it's a miracle like even maybe even atheist doctors they explain and they say because yeah, they can't yeah. they can't understand how this happened. They say it's a miracle, you know. I know I know a lady, actually, she is a relative of mine. Um, her her parents they took her to everywhere. They told her the doctors they said, just take her home, she's dying. I mean, they are wasting your money, we can't do nothing. Just so the parents they took the lady and they decide if she wanna die, she die in the church. They asked the priest if they can mm -hmm. if they can have uh, like uh, you know, sleep in the floor, you know, something in the floor to sleep in, because obviously, maybe it's last last her a few hours to live. And they are they are, they are very strong believers. The, the the parents are very strong believers, and the the, the 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 daughter too is very strong believer. And God, He wanted to show His power. In the in the early morning, the the parents, the you know, they are sleeping next to the girl, but she's gone. She is not in the bed, but she cannot move. She cannot even eat. She cannot like they, they have you know the, the the liquid they put in your in your blood, you know, so you can you can stay surviving. So they look they look in the front of them and they saw her in the front of the of the of uh, uh, in, in the middle of the church and she's praying. And they could not believe it. They thought maybe they are dreaming. Maybe it's dead. Maybe it's a ghost. Maybe it's because they are waiting her for to die. So maybe it's maybe it's a fake. It's you know it's like imagination. But it was true. They, get it they took they took their daughter to the hospital to check what's happening. The doctors they said we do not know. I have no idea what happened. They check again and again and again and again, and the disease, which a deadly disease she have, is gone. So how, mm -hmm. you know, Jesus said, mm -hmm. if you have if you have faith, you know, is you you will recover. Uh, but for sure, God He do miracles in in people He choose. 
and there is a reason he but, when but he, he also performs in other religions too like there is a lot of miracles happening in other religions too like because where when people like, don't like where? know how to like where huh? where what religion like, yeah, i mean yeah I, I, belong, I belong to a muslim family sometimes some uh, incredible happens which we can't explain like how this guy survived like sometimes he survives the cancer yeah, but this is no this is no you see this is this is not you see even the muslims they agree that islam is free of miracles muhammad himself he could not yeah, perform because it's miracles. a fake religion i mean i don't completely believe yeah, in no, it I, I know but i mean i mean miracles in order to happen you see jesus he said if you have faith you is if you have faith in god you know you will be healed and the faith is a is a very major reason for you even based on science you know uh, thinking because when you have faith you you resist you fight you know if you give up you are you are asking for death so your 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 body give up too so when you have faith you fight but in the same time there's things nobody can explain and i never saw a muslim really have a miracle of anything there's no there's no miracle in islam i live I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not i'm not actually referring muslims i'm i'm talking people in general like uh, there are a lot of miracles happening no, in there the is, world. Like, you can call it miracle like you know somebody have an accident he did not die but this yeah, is well, not really can't explain anything but there is but there's miracle. things no there's things there's things nobody can explain but, but but the accident as an example once i have an accident and the car i am inside it it, it was a smash totally if you look at the car yeah. there's no way a person inside it is going to be alive but I was alive, but this yeah. is not, I cannot say it's God or not, but it, it happened that, uh, you know, the uh, the metal which is broken around me all over did not reach my body. I was, let's say, you can say, you can say it's a miracle of God, but not necessarily God is involved. It might be because the way the car it hit or the side it hit or etc. It can be many reasons, but this is can be called miracle, but it's not necessarily to be, but there is things which is no way you can explain it. A person yeah, who's yes, going to die in a few right. hours, you know, and the disease yeah. is eating him al alive, and that's it, he's dead. And the doctors, they say to you that you are dead. And then they take you uh, after, you know, a, a second day or two days after the doctors, and they check your blood, and they find nothing. You know? I get you. I, get you. I, I mean, my, my point was actually, like, uh, what is, I mean, you rely on the sources, like Bible, you rely on, because you believe in it, because you, you have not witnessed Jesus yourself in person. I mean, uh, I no, mean, I, you see, I, I witness, I witness yeah. Jesus myself in person. I witness my friend. Let me tell you, you see, I just mentioned to you how I once, I, I, mm -hmm. I, I, uh, uh, I survived a death, a must death. And I might say it might be God who saved me, but there is for sure places where it happened to me that I survived and it was God who saved me. If I count for you, I'm a person who live in a war country, civil war. And death was yeah. around me left and right. If I say to you left and right, I mean it. You know, people they die like you know, like like fading, fading shadows around you. So I survived, I survived war, and people who used to hide, they die. I never hide. People they used to go in the basement when the shelling start coming like crazy, they die. Mm -hmm. And I am the one who used to go to the roof and watch what's happening. Nothing happened to me. So I witness many things happen to me, and I believe that at the end of the day, that God He have a, He have a He have a mission for me. Is my time is not done yet, so I believe in the miracle of Christ. But everybody witnesses his own miracles in his life. Some people even don't see them. Some people did it happened to them, but they don't notice them. You know, but I believe yeah, that yeah, Christ yeah, is yeah. a living God, and He is witnessing. He proved Himself to us every day. Yeah, I wanted to ask you, like. I, I don't have any kind of intention to convert to Christianity, but uh, like if you wanted me to show like uh, what is really the, I mean, yeah, leave the miracles aside. What is actually the truth? Like you believe that Christianity is the really the real religion. The, I miracle, mean, yeah, Jesus was the, really the real miracle of Jesus. As, the real miracle of Jesus is not about making a person walk. He cannot walk. The real miracle of Jesus is to make somebody believe to love his enemy. That yeah, is a miracle. That, because loving your enemy is something impossible unless unless you change that is a miracle yeah, i mean if the teachings are peaceful no 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 this is not time, peaceful I mean... this is not peaceful my friend this is beyond peaceful this is beyond peaceful yeah because, beyond peaceful yeah. because when somebody is an enemy and he is killing me you see jesus in the cross as an example when the jews uh, you know they're screaming kill him kill him his blood in our hand and the roman putting nails in his hand he was saying father forgive them they do not know what they are doing imagine how much love in the cross People they are hurting you, killing you, putting nails in your hands and your feet, making fun of you, throwing things at you, and yet you are saying, Forgive them, Father. 
that is not a miracle this is beyond miraculous ability because a human being yeah, cannot that kind of compassionate yeah the human yeah, being, being cannot cannot, of, cannot overcome his pain you know you, if you touch my eyes I would go crazy on you correct even if you are my yeah, son yeah. even if you are my brother is that correct yeah what I'm saying if I if if you're if you if your son put his finger in your eyes you you might curse him even though you love him <laughs> right because yeah, it, because yeah. you're in pain yeah. but imagine we have a we have Christ he says love your enemy and he did that you see he's not a hypocrite like Muhammad he told he told yeah, the Muslims he declare war upon yeah he told fun, them uh, you know things. don't uh, this life this life is uh, is a uh, is a joy for the bad one the, the other life but he was enjoying the life he was having many women he having many slaves for sex he was sex with everybody he's taking money yeah, from everybody I actually get it why are the scholars hiding this thing I mean why don't they represent the bad side of Islam because they know <laughs> if they introduce this these things in a Western culture like their faith is their their religion even even won't be considered a religion I mean why it is even considered a religion when it's full of hate speech declaring war upon kuffar I mean a lot of things a lot of hate speech is going on I mean this book has led to the death of a lot of people uh, in history and you nowadays see, they do. cannot hide it they cannot hide it but you see if 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 people decide not to look for the truth they will not find it and actually i think myself like uh, i have also a muslim friends because i have got a rational <laughs> debate with them. i think they believe in like this compassionate i mean they have never read their religion they think this is all good that thing the muhammad was really great person but i think they should read it and judge for themselves no don't don't blame them you see uh, no, I, I'm not actually let, let me explain yeah. to you. Let me explain to you. You know, when I go to school in the Middle East, you wake up in the morning, you go to school. The first thing you go in this classroom, it says in the top of the, the, the board, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, in the name of Allah. Okay. Then the teacher come. And then he starts telling you about how to be a good person like the Prophet Muhammad. Okay. You go to the bathroom. You take off your clothes to do poo, -poo. Then you hear the most saying, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, and you start talking about the amazing prophet. Okay, now we are done with the pupu. Even when do pupu, we are hearing them. We go to take a shower. You go inside the shower, you hear the mosque have 20 speakers speaking about the amazing prophet. Okay, finish with this. You go to sleep, you can't even sleep. You know, this they, they they have they have lecturers about the amazing prophet. So you have a processing machine of a brainwashing for you since you are a child. You grow up to yeah. be a man, you know, you are like, imagine you hear the same song. You cannot take it out of your head. Have you ever yes. experienced that you hear a commercial when you are a, a child, but you cannot get rid of it? Yeah, the, yeah, in a lot of times. You know in, what I mean? Yeah, in, in, this, uh, is, this is exactly what's family. happening, you know. They, are, they, 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 they keep repeating, they keep repeating, they keep repeating to the point when you repeat a lie a 1,000 times, you believe the lie. Yeah. I mean, yeah, <laughs> repeating a lot of things. I mean, yeah, I, I wasn't actually once in a mosque, and they actually say if you die in the name of your God, like you go directly to heaven. <laughs> I mean, these are kind of hate speech, but these are considered to be peaceful in Islam. I mean, it's, I can't think, it's, it's very absurd. You see what they try to do. I'm not actually going to take you a lot of time because I'm also running on a low battery. All right. And I wanted to ask you, like, what is the, the origin of this word Allah? Is it is it from a Hebrew text? No. No, no the, the, uh, Allah is is coming from the word lah, which is the moon god. Moon god. Yes, you see, oh. the the moon god has many names. One of them is lah. And uh, you know, people who live in a hot countries, they they worship the moon. Mostly, people who live in cold countries, they worship the sun, and that is logical. You know, if you live in Alaska, the sun is your beautiful day, right? If you live mm -hmm. in Saudi Arabia, the sun is your harsh day. So they enjoy the night, they hate the day. The sun kills their cattle, their grass, their water. So those who live in desert, they worship the moon. Those who live in cold area, they worship the sun. So there was major, major two gods mm -hmm. in competition, mm -hmm. the moon god and the sun god. This is why you, Muhammad, he said he forbid the Muslims uh, uh, uh to pray when the sun rise you see the muslim he cannot pray after the sun rise because simply mm. he believed that the shaitan come from between the two horn of the sun <laughs> all right why yeah. uh, why uh, uh, uh why he is saying that because simply this is his enemy god the sun is the enemy god of the moon god the uh, always the one who believe in the moon they try to to say bad things about uh, uh about the sun so Muhammad he adopt that 
uh, uh, you know this is that have to do with old legions as an example uh, read with me here carefully yeah, yeah. the prophet stood beside uh, a place and with his finger toward the east and he said uh, affliction are there affliction are there from where the side the head of Satan come out okay the side of what do you see this says here the side of the Sun I'm not actually able to see that um, but you can continue I mean you can give me also the reference yeah actually in Arabic it says that the, the, the translation is not really is not accurate it says the horn of uh, or the, the horn of the Sun not the side of the Sun the horn of the Sun oh there is no screen yeah. sorry guys okay here we go I, I forgot to put the screen on all right so as you see Muhammad he claimed that the Sun have a horn and the horn of the Sun is the horn of the devil the translation here is false it says the head of Satan it doesn't say that it says the horn of Satan comes out so is it I mean uh, I was actually talking about the origin of Allah word is it kind of related to it yeah well I, I told you the word the word the original of the Allah is not the word Allah is two words I explained that many times but let us do it again you know just for the sake of uh, education yeah yeah <laughs> I, I actually got confused okay um, let us see because sometimes I have a debate with my friends. I mean, I, I don't actually talk to a lot of people, <laughs> but I need to provide them proofs, like show them the truth. And sometimes I even get like speechless, but I don't have, when I don't come with the yeah, reference no with all those stuffs. Okay, here, this is, oh, let us go, you know what? Let us go to the Quran and show you from the Quran first. Give me a second. If we go in the Quran, you can go to the, the beginning of the Quran. Chapter 1, verse number 2, and chapter 1, verse number 1. Here we go. I don't know if you can see it or not. You will notice here with me that the word, this word here, Allah, let us make it in red, okay. Here there is letter Aleph. Do you see this Aleph? But here is not appearing, here. Where? So here we have this letter, yeah. Yeah, which is I'm, not which yeah, is not I'm which is not Ramadrema. which is not exist here. Why? You see, when it comes to names, you cannot add or take off letters unless it is additional, right? So what happened here? Yeah. Alhamdulillah, li, li in Arabic mean two. Alhamdulillah, li lah. So what the name of God? La. As simple as that. Oh, <laughs> all right. So here Allah, yeah, yeah. Allah, because Al is equal to the Aramaic word and Hebrew in the ancient Aramaic and ancient Hebrew, Al is equal to God. In the Arabic today, yeah. Al is equal to that, but in the old uh, uh, Hebrew, it Al is God. T today in the new Hebrew, e Al became El. So the Christian they say Emmanuel, Mikael, Gabriel. Ishmael, oh, yeah. Israel. I mean, they have copied a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah. So L, E L, is a word meaning God, but it used to be A L, which means they used to say Israel, Mikael, Ishmael, not Israel. So here, A L yeah. is A L Lah. A L Lah, which means God Lah. Did you get it now? Yeah, this yeah, is I why it, here it I, says li I, la li mean two two la <laughs> two la <laughs> two la who yeah, is that you can it, go right now it. to google and search la you will find that la is the moon god yeah thank thank you thank you thank you and good luck to you you're welcome my friend sure. any question any Bye. any any other question no, actually, I have actually a lot of questions to ask you, but actually, I have four percent battery, and actually, I have to go. All right. So actually, I will, I will, I will keep you calling. I will keep you calling. I actually watch your live debates a lot. All right, my friend. Take care and good, uh, good luck. And I, I hope you will become a believer in, in in Christ because He is the best. And you know, for me, I'm a very, I'm a very deep thinking person. I'm not a person just believe blindly, and yeah. uh, yeah. I choose to be Christian. 
after a very deep investigation and uh, I could not find some something better and something truthful more than the name of, of Christ so I invite you to think about it deeply and you sound like a smart uh, gentleman you are out of Islam already so I invite yeah. you to the best of the best and that is my Lord the Messiah think about it and let me know if you have any questions I will be ha happy to help you yeah I will come back to you if I have all right I will, I will be keep calling you all right my friend take care okay thank you thank you well, we pray that this gentleman he will accept Christ soon he sounds like a smart intelligent person we are happy for him that he decided to leave Islam and as you see Islam is a very easy stupid religion to fight but if you do not know how you can fight it you know how you can fight it does he even look at the chat anymore yeah I look at the chat but if I am explaining to the person in the screen do you want me to look at the chat in the same time do you think I have an ants uh, eyes how you uh, don't aren't you seeing me I am writing for for the guy explaining to the guy do you think I have 10 eyes while well, you're upset I'm not looking at the chat anymore how many eyes I have people are ready I don't know what to do do you look at the chat anymore <laughs> hello are you there mr. Muhammad <laughs> I'm here all right how I can help you my friend do you have a comment about what we said I want to explain hmm. um, why you are uh, very um, we were very afraid in the last call to let the people speak it was to let the people hear what i was saying i'm very afraid always go ahead make me afraid again i wish to explain uh, <clears throat> uh, that i have uh, made a video hmm. uh, on, uh, on on the channel with, with full subtitles you will find it on answers to christians hmm. okay and and this video uh, has explained all of this um, why you don't explain to us here you know why most time they get spanked in my and when they call me and then they later they make a video to explain how the spanking happened explain defend yourself here we go go ahead okay but you made uh, <laughs> i want to speak to, uh, about uh, um, Yani, I want to ask you a question. Yani, would you accept a prophecy after Jesus or would you not accept it? A prophecy after Jesus? Yes. Well, I, I, I made a prophecy yesterday. Yesterday I said there's somebody is going to have uh, is going to have an accident in the highway. Would you accept a prophet after Jesus if he comes with evidence or would you not accept him? Well, uh, evidence? Okay, what evidence? Show me. Go ahead. I'm not going to accept a prophet without telling me what what is the evident who is the prophet I mean you want me to accept just to accept if you can show me something good let us see go ahead and you, you, you didn't you don't you claim that a prophecy is known through evidence my friend somebody he is a prophet he have to provide provide in the Bible give us a category for a prophet he have to prophesy in the name of the true God and his prophet correct. and his a prophecy have to come to be true if you miss one of them you are a false prophet go ahead tell you I you you said that Muhammad and Jesus they were different they were they were uh, Muhammad Jesus is a, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a truth is the truth whereas Muhammad is a liar Muhammad and, is and not, you, Muhammad is not a liar Muhammad is a, a, a lying manufactory tell you um, you you claimed that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mm. That Muhammad he, he was looking for the world hmm. whereas when you look at his biography you, you find that he wasn't he didn't care about this world for the least hmm. all he cared about was that people say la ilaha illallah that they worship the one really? so why, God, why Muhammad why Muhammad he owned many slaves and he have many wives and why he asked for the fifth of every attack from the booty why he the Muslims accuse him of stealing underwear do you have an answer uh, I can tell you that slavery was acceptable before Muhammad. Yeah, but why he owned slaves? Prophet. Why he he don't care for the world, as you said? No problem. I understand. At that time, it was accepted. No problem. But why yes. why he want to have more and more slaves? If he, he don't he, he, he he, if he don't care for the world, why he don't say okay, all the slaves go free? I don't want to slaves. 
I don't want money it, did your prophet say if you want to meet me to speak with me in a private you have to pay me yes or no he didn't say that no do you want to you want to bet the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he told My friend, the prophet here we go. See? The, the, uh, Allah told him well I can say okay yes. Allah told him to get money for seeing people that's that's a clear no, that, 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 my, my friend told yeah uh, told the believer but who is the one who told the believers Muhammad what is the proof that this is Allah why Allah he care if Muhammad get money why Muhammad get money here we go you are talking to me did I ask you for a private consultation uh, listen listen Prince listen my friend I, I, I listen my friend listen my friend listen 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 don't don't, don't run away don't run away I am here I am here guys how many hours today I stayed with you how many hours six hours in the morning or five and now uh, God knows how many hours did I ask you for money why Muhammad is a prophet of God I'm not a prophet I'm just a normal human being I'm no one Allah Allah why Muhammad uh, uh, don't tell me Allah, Allah don't tell me Allah says, why Allah he care why Allah he care that a prophet of God if he want to meet somebody in a private he have to be paid who is the one who is the who is the who paid the Prophet ﷺ? my friend your prophet he do not need to be paid if he is coming from God because God will provide him yes and that's you, do not, exactly you do not need happening. you do Nobody not no no anything. you do not need to make it an obligation for everybody when I meet him in a private to pay him read with me oh you believe when you consult with the messenger on private send spend something that is correct he's but asking in a, he's so asking in advance my friend no no you see you anyone <coughs> anyone can Honest? talk to me anyone can talk to me people they talk to me I have I answer hundreds of emails I make thousands of videos I never ask anyone to pay me a penny I am NOT a prophet your prophet should be have a better ethic than me why he make a condition why 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 Jesus why Jesus oh, listen listen why why Jesus did not say you see my voice is not good why Jesus did not say okay pay me before you see me <coughs> The Prophet said, why Moses did not do the same can you let me ask the question just so we can have a dialogue mm. the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he said he was told to tell the, the his people I do not ask you for anything for any gain I'm not asking you for any payment what are you asking me he's asking he's asking okay did no, Allah did Allah no, say no, no, did, did Allah say did Allah say the fifth of every booty to the Prophet yes or no that is correct, but did the prophets take anything from it? He took it for sure. He took it. Here we go. The Muslims are fighting over an underwear. Don't you see? Don't you read with me? The, the Muslims, Muslims the Muslims, the Muslims accuse your prophet. Read with me, my friend. I'm not making things up. Is that a true story or not? That the Muslims are fighting over the booty, accusing your prophet that he took an underwear. Uh, yani, you are being very very uh, dishonest yeah my friend I, the, I, the proof in the front of you dishonest. the proof in the front of you I'm in the screen the proof I'm the proof I don't care if you are in YouTube if you are in the moon you keep saying to me dishonest I'm showing the proof and the reference this is tafsir al-jalalain this is a chapter 1 verse number 161 the Muslims accuse the Prophet that he stole a bikini so why you say to me you are being dishonest <laughs> I, I, I listen uh, you, I, I just want you to understand Christian Prince that you have to you have to t take it take it objectively you you are thinking about things in a very wrong way and I can just point out that to you that the Prophet وسلم, and Jesus they were they were every that Jesus and Muhammad, they were brothers they were brothers in in, in, in faith you cannot you, you, you are you are you are you are you are like what you are seeing something hmm. uh, which is not there and, and you are uh, you are just lying to the people this is not this is not okay you uh, see you see you see you are you are being a potato now and you don't show us i'm lying about what show us i, I lied about what did the yes, muslims I, I did the muslims example, accuse your you answer me I, did the muslims you accuse your prophet to be fraud yes or no uh, the, the Prophet the, the Sahaba and the, the companions of the yes, Prophet. Yes, accuse were, him were, to be fraud. Yes, no, the, no, the, no. This is a lie. Here we go, stuff. guys. Does it say? Does it say in the front of me? This does it say in the front of you in the interpretation of the verse that he accused him to be a fraud. Do you see the word of fraud? Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Allah, Allah, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Tab. What does this mean? Does this mean that they are, they, they are uh, they have that, that he did uh, take anything? When you and tell Allah me if the, if the believers, if if, my, if if I am a prophet and the my companion uh, accuse me to be fraud, what about the strangers? If the if the one who believe in Muhammad accuse him to be fraud, that means he's a fraud.
لا when they nobody accused the prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم maybe maybe a few uh, maybe a few, a few who who is prophets. the few who is the few obviously if you, obviously your God Allah and His throne He decide to write about it that Muhammad he stole an underwear I mean what of kind of God let, let, let me ask you your God Allah listen, He did not listen, write us listen, He didn't, listen, your your listen, your God listen, He did not write listen, I'm not listening listen you you wait let me let me, let me prove let me I'm prove to you to that you are you, you are trying to escape the truth. Did your prophet have sex with six years old girl? Yes. Did your prophet kidnap women from their houses? Yes. Did he did he steal money? Yes. Did he torture a Jew guy for asking him for for the money he hide under the ground, which is his money? Yes. Did Muhammad he cut a woman to pieces when she was alive just because she is she made a poetry against him? Yes. She is eighty five years old. What kind of a prophet he is? The one you have. What kind of a man he he cut play, a woman play, to play, pieces play, when she's alive please. and she is eighty five years please. old? Where is the mercy? Did the, Where is did the, the ethic? Did, Type there is Islam is the highest ethic. Islam is the highest. What is the ethic? Here we go. Okay, is it the, the is it the ethic? Is it the ethic to have sex with six years old girl? <clears throat> he did not have uh, that when she was nine. He married her. Is that better? He married her when she was six, and he entered into her when she was. Okay, nine. he married her at the age of six, so he was molesting her between six to nine, and in, at nine he have intercourse with her. What kind of a man he is at the age of fifty four? He marries he marries a six years old girl. Type, why is this? Why is this against the prophet? I don't because see at all the, that's that means he's a bit of fire because this is ethic. Why? Is why am a man, my friend? Why, uh, uh, this is not marriage. This is not marriage. She's a child. In order to marry somebody, she have to agree to marry you. In order to she, marry she don't even know. She don't even know what marriage means. Do a child in the age of six, she know what marriage means? There are there are certain cases where where where, where this my is friend my there friend my friend my friend there is someone saying to me nine years old nine years old no she was not nine years old stop being a fool she is six years old when he married her she, he entered she, into her when she was no nine. he had he molested her between the age of six to nine and at the age of nine he have intercourse at the age of nine he have intercourse now let me ask you if she is not listen, ready, listen, if she listen, is, listen, why yeah, a man listen, at the listen, age of fifty-four? This is, why are you bringing up these things? We have to because you're ashamed foundation. of it. This is why you don't want to talk about it. Why? Why? I mean, why? Because we are talking about the ethic of a prophet. Let us talk yeah, about different ethic. Let us talk about different ethic. Did Muhammad enter the house of his own son and he flirt with the wife when she is married to him? Did he or not? Say no. I challenge you. I challenge you to say no. What foundation? What kind of foundation? A prophet of God? He entered to the house of his own son when the when the son is not there and he flirt with the wife. The the prophet was the highest moral character. What what highest? If if your father be honest, if your father enter your house and he flirt with your wife, is he a highest person? Or he's a scumbag. This is, this is inconceivable of the Prophet. What inconceivable? But I, but what kind of a prophet? Answer me mouth. why he did that. Explain to me why he did that. Why he flirted with the married women. Type, I just want to I want to no answer me. No answer me. Why he flirted with the, give me a give me a logical explanation. He is a high ethic, he is the best of mankind, he is the best of people, but he entered a house of the husband, which is his son, and he flirted with the wife, and he said to her loud with a loud, loud voice. My heart is a flipping for you. Praise be to Allah. My heart is beating for you. I want you. What kind of man he say that? What kind of a man? Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Let me show you. Guys, he said to bring the hadith itself, right? The second I will show it to him, he will say, I don't believe in this. So just wait. Oh, hold on. It has to be. It oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Not, not, not necessarily. Hold on, hold on. Not necessarily. Uh, yeah. It's authentic. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Authentic, it's your books. Nothing, nothing in your book is authentic. Uh, anyway. not your, you my friend, my books. friend, you nothing sure in your books is authentic. authentic. Nothing in your book is authentic. The Quran is not authentic. The Hadith is not authentic. Muhammad is not authentic. Allah is not authentic. So why are you asking for something authentic? All of you is not authentic. You are, and you, you and speak? when you say, you uh, uh, okay, so you hold, listen, listen, and you are the one who said it have to be authentic. And this is a proof that Islam is a false religion because why you Muslims have books are not authentic about the Prophet because you Muslims are liars. Otherwise, no, you tell me because la, la, it is because we Muslims we narrated everything the lies and the good things. Ah, you, you, historic you, you, you narrated well, the well, lies well, about well, your prophet. I mean, this is a wonderful job. Let me ask you a question Did your prophet say, Don't write hadith about me? The, no, we, we, we transmitted everything. Did, did your prophet say, Don't don't write the hadith about me? Yes or no? He did say that. Okay, so why you write the hadith? Because you don't understand what the, what is the context. No, the tell context me no. Is, why you write the hadith? If he said, if he said, if he said to you, if he said to you, don't yes, write hadith. Why you write the hadith? Dialogue, <clears throat> I want to have a dialogue. Just just to be to, to make sure that you understand. Yani if you are honest, you will come to the truth. If you are dishonest, you 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 will people will find out the truth. 
you should care about the truth. So my let friend, us speak. My, my friend, I'm letting you speak. I'm asking you. Why the why the prophet why the prophet he said don't write the hadith and you Muslim write the hadith who is a stupid here? The prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. There are now many many points. Can we go into them one by one? Yeah, we just go to the one about your prophet <coughs> flirting with with the Zainab. Bring the bring the the, the hadith itself. All right. Put it on YouTube. All right. Let us see. <coughs> and I just want to, to, to clarify that I'm not a sheikh because I don't care if I'm a sheikh and people now understand that I'm, a I'm not a sheikh my friend I don't care if you're a sheikh or not who cares this is not the last of my worry but you but, but I care that what, you don't are you, are you preparing you yourself to say that you are you, you know nothing <coughs> you know is that no. what Okay. Alhamdulillah, I, I am on. I am inshallah, I am on light from Allah. I'm on guidance. Okay. You are in error. Okay, but we see. have to have dialogue. So that uh, all right, it. all right, okay, okay. Here we go. Let us go. You have the Quran with you. <clears throat> I, I told you I memorized the Quran. Okay, which chapter in the Quran speak about Zaid? Which verse? The sixth page. The Hazab what? Sixth page. What sixth page? No, which which uh, which verse? I don't remember. Hmm? I don't remember. Oh, okay. All right, all right. So this is a chapter thirty-three, verse number thirty-seven. We will go to the interpretation. I will make you read with me, so you don't say I'm making things up. All right. <clears throat> All right. Let us see. <clears throat> Read with me this one in the screen. Do you see it? Uh, one second, where is, this? where is the hadith? Yes, okay, one second. Just a second, because I'm working from YouTube. It's on the screen now? Yeah. Okay, good. I don't see it yet, one second. Yes, now I see it. Read and translate for us, please. Tayyip, what is this? Uh, <coughs> one second, one second, one second. Uh, where did you get this? One second. قلت هذا القدر الذي أخرجه مسلم في صحيحه. Okay, can you go up just a little bit up so I can read the from the beginning a little bit? Go up. I don't see. Yeah, one second. This is Tafsir Jami' Al Ahkam Al Quran Al Qurtubi. All right. Yes. All right. Okay. Go down. Read for me and translate. Okay. First of all, uh, tafsir is not all of it authentic. Read for me. Yeah, it's a lie. One second. It's, yeah, one second. it's a lie. It's I'm a lie. I'm saying it's a lie. Uh -huh. I haven't read it to say it's a lie or not. Mm -hmm. All right, right. I'm saying that tafsir, not all tafsir. Right. Uh, to, to know the, the, the authenticity <laughs> of the narration, we have to go mm -hmm. into the Senate. We have mm -hmm. to, know into, go into the chain of narration, narrators. Uh -huh. Did the, are the narrators honest? Are the narrators uh, with good memory? Mm -hmm. and, and, and if we know this, we can uh, come to my like friend go to the topic the read for me and authentic. translate let everybody go to the hadith. okay read okay. and read and, and tell us what happened yes if the quality of the anam allah ali when i'm telling you i'm sick ali because there's a particular pull to have a quarter of the akhraja who muslim on his ahihi what is the what is the other there's something before it so can you go up, up my please? friend my friend read the one i highlight for you the rewire the story not the rest. In Zaydan, in Zaydan, in Zaydan, Tawarra Madalika Minu Hina Arada and Yakrubuha. Read. One second. Pull to Hadal Kadra the Akraja who Muslim of Sahihi, Wawala the Sahah Timidi of Jamei, of the Bukharia and Nesmi Malikan had the right to Tukh Fifi Nafsikam Allah of D, Nazalat Fisha and Zainab, Zainab bin Tijashin, was Zainab bin Hari, was Zaydi bin Haritha. Wakala Amor of Nu Sudan Rashita. والحسن ما أنزل الله على رسوله أشد عليه من هذه الآية 
طيب وقال الحس وقال وقال الحسن وعائشة لو كان رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم كاتما شيئا من الوحي لكتم هذه الآية لشدة عليه يعني what is he saying here he is saying that my friend if, all all of this you read for me is not important my friend no 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 just read the story for me does it say here you see you're trying to avoid the story read the story read the story and now أمسى 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 زيد فأوى إلى فراشه قالت زينب ولم يستطعني زيد read go ahead and translate وروي في الخبر أنه أمس زيد فروي في الخبر. What is the خبر? What does خبر mean? Oh. What does it mean? It means a report. Yeah. Uh, isn't it all of it? What about isn't it Islam? All of it is report. Isn't it the Hadith is report? Isn't the Quran is a report? What's wrong with you? I, I'm not afraid of of of. of okay, read for us. Why you keep why you keep doing blah 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 blah? You don't want to read. Why you are afraid? Read, read. Yeah, let everybody yeah, laugh. Yeah. Read, let everybody laugh. You are in trouble. You are in trouble. You will not read it. Prove to me you are not afraid. Read. Continues. Read. read just read. Now. Just read and translate. Read and translate. And after you finish reading and translating, explain. Go ahead. But you promise me you give me time to explain. I'm listening. Go ahead. وروي في الخبر أنه أمس زيد فأوى إلى فراشه قالت زينب ولم يستطع زيد ولم يستطعني زيد وما امتنع منه غير ما منعه الله مني فلا translate please translate step by step فلا يقدر علي step by step one... step by step translate طيب طيب I have to understand first طيب أمس زيد فأوى إلى فراشه قالت زينب ولم يستطعني زيد وما امتنع منه وما امتنع I will get the 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 the, the original uh, please one second because there's something wrong here وما امتنع <coughs> Let us make it simple, my friend. It's going to take you ten hours to read it, and suddenly you do not no, know no, Arabic. No, no, suddenly you do not know no, Arabic. No, suddenly, you do, suddenly he need to understand, guys. Suddenly, so why I you don't uh, read? For, uh, why you are giving it all this time? Does it? Let, it, let us make it short. Does it make it? Does it make short? Does, does, Aisha, does, does Zainab says that Zaid he wanted to have sex with me, and Allah did not allow him to have sex? Yes or no? وما وما امتنع منه وما امتنع منه غير ما غير ما منعه الله من yeah does it say that do you agree فلا يقدر علي yeah do you agree that she, he tried to sleep with her but Allah did not let him able to do it correct هذه رواية بعصمة my friend does it say that or not possible no it doesn't say possible it is this is what it says don't lie probably probably don't say properly this is what it says in front of your eyes stop lying I, I don't know. But, 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 what do you mean? No, no, but, but, but it's in the front of you. Because, because there is. It's in the front of you. It's in front of you. Now, now, as long as you, 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 we put you in the corner. Now, how Allah made the man not able to have sex with Zainab? Can you explain to us? It seems as if he was unable. <laughs> yeah. Why? How? What happened? Explain. Read the rest. لا استغفر الله وما أمتنع منه غير ما منعه الله مني وما أمتنع منه let me teach you Arabic man what's wrong with you are you sure you know Arabic let me read for you shut up let me read for you Arabic man you do not know how to read Arabic you are repeating the same sentence for the last 15 minutes and you keep repeating no no and you you claim that you know Arabic and you know Quran by heart وما أمتنع منه غير ما منعه الله مني فلا يقدر علي هذه رواية أبو إسماء نوح بن أبي مريم رفع حديث إلى زينب إن أنها قد قالت ذلك وفي بعض الروايات أن زيدا تورم ذلك منه حين أراد أن يقربها translate يقربها okay this means that she was staying away from him this is what I understand my friend my friend does it say there that his penis became swallowing each time he tried to have sex with her Allah he made his penis swell one second. وما أمتنع منه غير من الله مني فلا يقدر عليه هذه رواية بعصم رحمة من مريم ورفع رفع الحديث إلى زين ورفع الحديث إلى زين بنا قال ذلك. She said that about herself. Yeah, yeah. And it says here and زين. وفي بعض الروايات one second. وفي بعض الروايات in in other narrations. Of course, these are narrations. We have to we have to we have to verify are they correct narrations or incorrect narrations? Are they authentic or inauthentic? We don't just accept, of course. أن زيد تورم ذلك منه حين أراد أن يقربها. Translate. Uh, this means that he was unable. Don't lie. This is not doesn't what it says. Doesn't say that. It says it says Allah he made his penis swell. No, it doesn't say that. It, said, it says tawarrama, tawarrama. What tawarrama mean? Translate. What the word tawarrama mean? Stop being a liar. Tawarrama means uh, something swells. Yeah. So what is that swell? His lips or his penis? 
yes you are correct you are okay correct. so, so, means so let me ask you why Allah he made the penis of the husband swell because Muhammad he flirt with them with the women speak speak well please we are, we are trying to arrive at I'm, I'm speaking well my friend okay. the story in the front of you I'm not the one is using the word penis here it's there so the, the it doesn't say penis it, it says it the word the word speaking about the penis where, where is the word penis? what is the yes, word why about they are what talking about what, 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 they, what, what they, he cannot what have sex why they cannot have sex because it is swell what is a swell it's his penis be honest be correct yeah but okay the, so Arabic, now and now explain to us why second. Allah why Allah he made the penis of the husband is swell just because Muhammad he flirted with the wife see, see. Uh, uh, Christian Prince when we speak terms we speak in good ways we don't use uh, uh, well, uh, we are, not are you saying the word way. are you saying the word penis is fahish the way you are saying it is in a very uh, isn't it your is isn't it your prophet he says the one who, who who is proud about his his father go and tell him to bite the, the his father penis that is correct in a very 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 uh extreme it's correct sense. guys did you hear it's correct so we have a prophet he ha we, have a prophet. we have a prophet we have a we have a prophet he said to people go and buy the penis of your pro of your father Listen, Prince, you and he is saying to me to don't use the word penis what can what kind of a prophet he say go and buy the penis of your father you say that not me everybody heard you he said this is correct what why, kind of a prophet say that doesn't matter what kind of what kind of a prophet he said that he never said he never used any rude words the prophet sallallahu you just said he said that you just said he said that. no he said that that if a person comes and trying to blow gloat about himself and say i am the son of this person i am the son of that person trying to make uh, like for example uh, discord and make uh, enmity between people like saying i am better than you i'm better than you he said I do who I let him uh, tell him bite thank the, you guys the, he just said the, the word air which mean which mean excuse my language the word dick ex exactly not even penis i'm being polite saying the word penis look look what happened now you just said if somebody is proud about his family tell him to go and buy the dick of his penis but isn't it your prophet no, in the hadith is, he said is not isn't it isn't said. it your prophet said isn't it your prophet he said i am from hashem and hashem are the best no, the prophet says, "Well, fakhra, and there is no problem." No, hold on, hold on. No, he said, I, I, "And he chose me from the best. I am from, the, I, I am from." Uh, he he called all the tribes, and he said, "And the best of all the tribe is Hashem, and I am the best of Hashem." You want to show the hadith? So we should. He is the best of Hashem. Yes. Objectively. Should should we it's say true. should we say to Muhammad, "Go and bite the penis of your father"? Did the Prophet sallallahu Did the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam? Now let us go. Let us go back to the topic. Let us go back to the topic. Let us go back to the topic. Listen, listen. You will have to let me address this. Okay, address this. Because this honest. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam never ever uh, felt proud of his lineage in this way, as you, as, you, as you say. He never at all told the people. I am the son of uh, I am better than you because of that yani in the sense that he is making uh, he, he, he is um, uh, he is being arrogant the Prophet ﷺ was very humble when he entered Mecca he very was, humble he, very he was, humble he, he was extremely humble when he conquered mm. Mecca he he entered into it with his head bowed down oof, bowed oof, down oof, and he was oof, saying he, yeah. was, he was saying and he and he <laughs> or, and, and he ordered and he ordered no. to kill women and men who they, they were accusing him to be false prophet. He, for, he forgave everyone in, in Mecca. Okay, except let, for let ten, ten people. Ten people. Who, who are they? Who are the ten people? Is there's women the between? People. There's women between them. Yes. So they were of the worst of God's creatures. Like you. <laughs> See why those you are saying like you. those are his family. You said he want to kill them. Ten people from his family. This is Quraysh. This is his tribe. So what is the favor he do if he, he if he don't kill his family in the top of that he want to kill his family still now we go because back to the topic the of Abdul, 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 Abdul what right of Allah you see your, your your prophet is a perverted man here we go he claimed you, you Muslims you claim you claim that that Muhammad Muhammad he went to the house Muhammad he went to the house of his own son he flirted with the wife and then because he flirted Allah he was listening so the man he came came back home he wanted to sleep with his wife Allah, he made he did bite the penis of the husband and he made him his penis as well. So now he can't sleep with her. Explain to us what kind of miracle is that? Type why type Allah, piece, why Allah he made, why I, Allah I, he I, made I, the I man. Want, I want to say that I am not aware whether you are <coughs> muting me or you're letting me. Uh, the people are hearing what I'm saying. They I'm hear you, they hear you, everybody hear you. Everybody's hearing everybody, everybody hear you. I yeah, have to make sure. Yeah, because maybe last time uh, many of the things I was saying they were not there. Uh, I'm not saying this no, because I, I don't, to, don't, 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 people they hear you. Look at the YouTube, people will hear you, and they are laughing. That's why they are laughing. 
So now, why Allah He made the penis? How Allah? How Allah? You give me. You give me. Okay. Let me repeat the question for you. Yeah. Why Allah made the the penis of the husband as well? Explain to us this amazing miracle. Uh, where is it? It doesn't say it's a miracle. It says it is something which it says that the one who did that is Allah. It doesn't say that. Yes, who, who is the one who forbid him? Who is the one that did not allow him to do it? It's Allah. She said that in front of you. You claim to speak Arabic, don't you? Tawarrama doesn't mean it swells necessarily. You, you don't, don't lie. Don't lie. Don't lie. Tawarrama, it means swell. And you are the one who translate. It means that he's unable, probably. This one Abdul, you see, if I show it to you in the dictionary right now, are you willing to open the camera and do the monkey dance for us? The dictionary, the, 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 the uh, Google, uh, Google so dictionary, dictionary now is lying. Even dictionary is lying. No, the Google dictionary is not. Yeah, but, but not not language. Google dictionary, not Google dictionary. If I show you an official dictionary, what do you do? You see, you are a liar. You are you are a certified liar. Shame on you. I am telling you, I don't <clears> know this hadith. I'm willing to look into. My friend, you it. you don't know. You know. You are learning from a Christian prince. Admit that I am your master. I am the one who teaches Islam. You, each time, most each time a Muslim, he called me. Well, he said, "I never heard this before. I never heard this before." Donkeys! How you believe in, in God? You don't you don't know what you you never heard this before. What kind of a Muslim? He did not l learn this before. Why you are learning from a Christian person? Not learning because from the Muslims. Not even in the Sahih. It is. It is in your. My friend. My friend. My friend. I do. I do. I do. Does it say in the front of you that or not? This is not my problem. Does it say that? Uh, I can, I can, there are many narrations which are uh, lies. I okay. Go. Go. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. And you guys, you say to me, you have to have patience. Honestly, I lost my voice. I can't even talk. God, he made the penis of the husband as well because Muhammad, he liked the wife. <laughs> what kind of God does God is? I mean, I'm glad I'm, I'm single. If Muhammad is around, he will make my penis as well. Please don't. I will stay single forever. <laughs> Why you are calling again? Are you going to read, continue, or you will play the game? I do not know I'm, what I'm, I never I'm more, I'm more honest. Yeah, inshallah, I'm more honest than you. Okay, are. then continue. Go ahead. So, does it say Tawarrama, which means swell? Be honest. I don't know. Get lost. Don't wallahi, call me again. No, you are a liar. You see, he said, Wallahi. He said, Wallahi. There's no Muslim in the world. There's nobody in the world. Don't call me again, donkey. There's nobody in the world do not know what Tawarrama means. He speaks Arabic. Arabic is his first language, and he said he do not know what Tawarrama means. What a big fat liar you are. Taqiyya. All the Muslims who know Arabic, they are laughing inside them at themselves. It says Tawarrama. And Tawarrama means Tawarrama. I have one meaning. It means swell. I do not know, right? Please don't forget to download the video and post it in your YouTube. Please. Please. He called us. Hey, brothers and sisters, I made a video. It's called Answering the Christian Brands. And I am going to expose the Christian Brands. You are right. I don't even debate myself. I will lose. Don't do that. And by the way, don't, don't forget to buy some Vaseline because you, 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 your, your ass will swell after all the spanking you got. I did not even start. What a crazy, stupid religion. A man, he visit the house of his own son. He see the women. He flirt with her. Where is the dignity? Where is the ethic? Where is the honor? And then, and then what he do? <coughs> Allah, he made the penis of the husband as well. Look at this. Hello? Hello. How are you? I'm fine. Oh, yes. Um, Festus. Um, I just want to say one thing that, uh, that about the Muslim. Why are they defending what we not defend them at the last day? I think uh, if you are defending what we not defend you at the end, I think it's good to be to someone to open their heart and to the truth, not to defend what we not defend them. And also, I have a, another thing. I was looking at your book, mm. and um, you said. Um, if someone pray for uh, 38, 83 years, 
and uh, when someone pay, pay for a day is equal. So why someone has to pray for 83 years and someone that pray for one one night between one night is equal yeah, this to is a, years. you know a, a, a waste of time. once let me let me tell you once a muslim a muslim sheikh he was debating me he said you know uh, he said i agree with you this is not accurate but here he was exaggerating well, exaggerating with god god is exaggerating which means he's when i say i'm exaggerating it's mean i'm lying correct yes so he admit that this is exaggerating and Allah is lying. They cannot explain, it's just stupid, you know. And the second you ask a Muslim a question, he never heard it before. He said to you, I never heard this before. Every day, every day, Muslim they call me to say, Where do you get this from? We never heard this before. Well, this is why I'm a Christian prince and you are Abdul. <laughs> that is the reason. I think they need to just open to the truth. And the other guy that called you about about Jesus, I think if you give Jesus a try, let it try. Because what we are enjoying as a Christian, unless you are in it before you know the benefit in it, let him give God a try. Let him give Jesus a try and see whether he's alive or not. And uh, lastly, uh, I've been saying it, I don't know how we can... Um, you can help us in Africa. I live here in America. I've said it. Uh, I don't know what's going to be next year. Would be um, if you have the time just to be a blessing to those people in Africa because we don't really know much, and uh, there's no way we can. We don't know about Arabic. I think I have just have that passion. I'm a pastor here in uh, in Atlanta. Um, and then uh, uh, Eastern time is the Eastern things will be going on here. So I was thinking how we, we can help us here in Africa. I'm here in America. I'm like a pastor in church here. So I can be a blessing to those in Africa. Look at your schedule next year. So I can be a blessing for all us. So you to be able to open more our eyes to this because most people they don't know it. They are just doing it. They don't have knowledge of it yeah um, my friend just invite your friends from africa invite people from everywhere and let, let everybody hear and, and, and learn you know we we do our yes, we yes. do our part but people they have to help us so we can spread the truth here we go we make videos they are for free people they can download them they can save them they can share them i do my part you do yours right, yes. thank, right. You. thank you thank you thank you very much thank all you right thank you my friend thank, thank you. you thank you all right take care okay. Uh, somebody says to me, "He, can you show me? Can you show me the dictionary? This is an Islamic dictionary. It's called Al Maani, as you see. And this is the word Tawarrama. Do you see it? Is the is it is the is the word is clear for you guys? Can you read it or no? Do you see how he how 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 liar he is? This is not Google." This is official dictionary, and this is the link. Here we go. I'll post it for you. They lie. They lie. They have no shame to lie. And look. Suddenly he don't know Arabic. He he did read the same sentence like six times, seven times, eight times. Suddenly his Arabic is bad. I need I need I need I need, I need to, to, to understand what, 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 before I explain to you. What, 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 what does that mean? If 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 Zakir Naik, he can read it. If we bring Zakir Naik now, he will explain to us very easy. He will say, "Brother Tita, brother Tita." When the prophet he did like Dina, beat up on her, and he was in love with her, but he was married. He went to her house and he was told not naked, and he have an underwear, and he said, "My heart." And my tentacle are beating for you. And when the husband, a brother, he came to have sex with his wife. Allah, he made a, he made a miracle. He did make his penis as well. Can your God, Christian friend, make your penis as well? Absolutely, he cannot. Obviously, Allah is a true God. Thank you very much. Only Allah can make your penis as well. Do you see it? All the meaning it come with it, but all of it, it's about talking about the penis as well. <clears throat>
the story itself speaking about the husband he could not have sex with her so what is the warama his penis it's obvious as simple as that I wonder how many penis they swell in Quraysh because Muhammad he liked the wife of somebody I'm sure Muhammad he liked all the wives so I bet you all the penises in Quraysh they were swelling all the Arab at that time they have a bondage around their penis because the Prophet he liked the women that's it the second he liked your wife your penis is swell what you can do about it Allah Allah is involved here that's it Allah his job Allah his job is what Muhammad he liked the women Allah he bring a hammer he hit your penis <laughs> what happened I don't know what happened here okay here we go obviously the prophet he liked your wife how you know that because anyone the prophet he liked his wife he make his penis as well and you tell me that the prophet don't have miracles are you crazy Do we have any Abdul? <clears throat> maybe, maybe. You see, honestly, I hope I will not get sick because I have a headache. I have my voice is lost. I think I'm going and getting cold. I went outside. It's minus seven, and I throw the garbage wearing my shirt. You believe it? I mean, I think this is what happened. Maybe this is what happened. Minus seven. Mayday, mayday. Do we have any Abdul? No, no, I, I, I can't tell. I have a headache and I have my voice. Did you notice my voice is almost gone? <clears throat> I think I'm, because I'm talking too much, I'm doing too much broadcast. I should maybe take a break, maybe for a day or two, you know? I'm a liar. Yeah, I'm a liar. Yeah. Mm. People they see it in the screen, you idiot. You lie, you say it, it doesn't not necessarily. Aren't you proud about this book that Allah He make the penis of the husband swell? He is the husband, he is the lawful husband. Why Allah will not allow the man to have sex with his wife? <coughs> Eat a fresh onion? Not not shouldn't I drink camel urine like the prophet he advised? <coughs> yeah, I know Allah is very awesome. He is the penis sweller. If you are a penis doctor, you open a clinic in the city of Muhammad. Because you can imagine, or you cannot imagine how many men they will come to your clinic and how much money you will make. Women walk in the street. The Prophet look at their actually let me show you Muhammad he was doing that always you know a woman walk by look what Muhammad he did look at this decent Muhammad look at this a woman passed by and Muhammad he got excited obviously he is looking at her bum da -da -dun, da -da -dun. More? More? wow so Muhammad sitting in front of his house and he have his companion with him a woman she walked by Muhammad he stood up he went to his wife recommendation to the one who sees a woman and is attracted to her to go and do his wife this is the chapter of the book name do you believe it a recommendation brother if a man who see a woman a woman she is not his wife you see Jesus he said if you see a woman she is not yours it's better to block your eye better than all your body go to hellfire look at this guy if a man see a woman and attracted to her to go to his wife or a slave woman or what slave woman and have intercourse with her wow I mean what a nice advice let us continue Jabir reported that Allah Messenger SAW Mercedes Benz he saw a woman and he came to his wife Zainab. What do you mean he saw a woman? What does that mean? You know what I don't want to speak dirty, right? You know exactly what I'm talking about. 
he was staring at her obviously he was he did not see a woman because you don't get excited and get horny by seeing a woman guys am I am, am I being truthful here if a man he see a woman why he get excited unless he is thinking dirty is that correct you see you are your thinking it's not about what you see it's about what you think I will give an example if you go let us say you are inside your house and you have a daughter your daughter let us say she is uh, 17 18 years old and suddenly you open the door of the room it's your house but your daughter she is changing her clothes and she is very beautiful do you feel anything no why because you will not allow yourself even to think about it correct but she's a woman and she's a beautiful woman but right away this idea is blocked in your brain so it's not what you see it's what you think do you, do you guys understand me it's not really what we see it's what we are thinking about if I think about you in a sexual way I see a sexual thing if I, I if I look at you as a friend you are my friend if I look at you as a sister you are my sister it is how I look at you not what I see so here we see that Muhammad is a perverted man he don't see a woman in the street he see a vagina he see a bum he see sexual object walking in the street the woman he don't even know her so what he do he go inside the house and he do his wife who is busy doing tan leather tanning which is very hard job to do so he stop her imagine how how donkey he is i mean is it the time now for you to have sex are you a mule can't you wait until later? No. So he forced his wife out of the work and he do her as if she is a goat. She have no feeling. And then he come back and look what he said. He claimed that the women is the devil, not him. Look what he said. The women advances and retires in the shape of a devil. So when one of you sees a woman, he should come to his wife. And repeal his sexual desire, not his heart. Doesn't say heart. Do Muhammad even have a heart? That is Islam. Go and read what Jesus says about looking at women, they are not yours, and see what this man is doing. How evil, how disgusting. This is why Muhammad always described women as sex toys because he cannot see them anything except for sex. In the heaven, they are for sex. In the earth, they are for sex. The job of women is just to take off their panty and give babies. Where is the ethic of Muhammad? This is satanic. And how you how you how dare you to say that the woman she 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 advanced and retired in the shape of the devil? What the woman she did, she did nothing. If a woman she walk in the front of me and I am the one who get horny because I'm thinking dirty, why I'm playing the woman and that she is the devil? So he 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 you know he don't put his guilt, his filth on him, he put it in the women. It's the woman, man. But the woman, she did nothing. She just walked, going home, doing something. And ask yourself, Muslims, do you see that, that your mother is the devil? Because the women here is, can be your mother and my mother. Do you really say to your mother, you are the devil? So if your mother walk in the front of Muhammad, she is the devil and Muhammad get horny. Do you like that? I'm sure you don't mind. You lost your dignity. Since you, you 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 worship Muhammad, you don't mind if Muhammad is sleep with your mother. At least you will call him daddy. <laughs> the Muslims they believe in something. Whoever sleep with my mom, I call him daddy. This is why Muslim women she get married and divorce, and married and divorce, and married and divorce, and married and divorce. She is like the bike of the town. No dignity. 
by the age of 40 or 50 she married like 60 husbands maybe and it's a business by the way because each time she got divorced she got paid many of them to do it as a business and this is why Muhammad he allowed the muta you can marry a woman for there's no limitation in Islam how many women you can marry four in the same time but there's no limitation you can marry today four divorce them to the same day very new four divorce them in the same day marry new four you can marry 100 and divorce them in the same day oh what Islam saying you have to marry four at the same time maximum so I marry them four for 15 minutes I'll have fun with them I divorce them next four marry divorce next By the way, I'm going to do cleaning to my channel from the videos. This is what we do in order to make people download the videos. So in the coming 48 hours or maybe 24 hours, you will see many, most of the videos disappear. So if you care to download, then feel free. All right? I do that for many reasons. And the, the number one, to be sure that people are downloading the videos and sharing them around and all over. Those videos, my friend, is, is a priceless because they are first-hand witness. Like now, our, our conversation with this Abdul. Take it, download it, cut it, post it around. Let everybody laugh. This is Islam. Christian Prince will not live forever. I assure you, my friend, I will die. And by the way, when I die, the Muslim, they will say, Allah killed him. You are right. So download them. We are teaching you. We are sharing with you from my time, from my life for free. You don't pay for it. I pay death threat every day. People threaten me. People want to kill me. People want to find me. People want to hate me. I have many years who hate me. But I don't care. I do what is right. So please download and share with your friends. Post on YouTube. Post on other channels. There's many other uh, social networking. You know, post everywhere. Save in your computer in case people they lose it. Let us work together so your child one day will not come to you and say, I'll become a Muslim. Then the Christian prince cannot help you. It's too late. We give the flu shot before you get the flu. Educate your children, educate your family, educate your friends, and don't sit to mute. If you think that this is this disease might not come to your house, you might be mistaken. Many people they thought it's not might come to his house, but it came. Your child go to school, he meet with Muslims, they lie to him, they fool him. Christian children are not protected because nobody teach them. We ask Christians, you know, why you don't teach about Islam? They don't want to do it. They are busy waving hands to Jesus, but this is not what Jesus wants you to do, to wave your hand. This is not what is what is Christianity is about. Christianity is about bringing people to Jesus, not waving hands to Jesus. How many people you brought to Christ in your lifetime? You wove your hand to Jesus, thank you very much. He saw it. The Bible speaks of different stories. There's many parables in the Bible speaking about that God, he gave you investment and you have to invest, you have to bring it back. And the investment is not about the money. It's about bringing souls. So when you became 50, 60, 70, 80, and then you die, and then you stand in the front of the Lord, he will ask you what you did in your life. What, what exactly you did, what you, what you did. Did you try to help in anything? Have you ever tried even to do something? What you will say, I was drinking in the bar. I was going to party. I have kids, I have to take care of them. That's all. You bought a new car, you bought a new house. My friend, don't be a number as many they die. There's many people they die and nobody will remember them forever. They are forgotten. Even the Lord will not remember them. Because the Lord, he said, not everyone say, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my father. Who is the one who will enter the kingdom of the father? Is the one who do the well, and who is the one who do the well? Is the one who brings souls, not the one who bring money. Jesus do not need your money.
we have we have to work we have to serve no my friend I worship God but what I'm by what I'm doing my friend you see isn't it the Bible says that a happiness will be in the kingdom of God if one soul is saved how many people they left Islam because they watched my videos and they became a Christians go and see in just just last two weeks how many phone calls we received from Muslims who left Islam and they accepted Jesus so you worship God not by praying only but by doing what God asks you to do this is this is an act of worship from their fruits you shall know them not from repeating the word the prayer the same as the Pharisees the Pharisees they repeat the words they repeat the prayer blah 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 blah, blah like, 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 like 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 crazy like a recording machine God is not deaf he wants your fruit we pray and we work a prayer with no work is a dead faith because a person who pray but he don't do work it's mean he have no faith in anything he's a liar he's a hypocrite Right? Uh, hello? Hello? Yes? <clears throat> Hi, Christian Prince. How are you doing, my friend? <clears throat> I'm fine. How are you? I'm still alive, surviving. Good. Um, I've been uh, watching your broadcasts uh, lately. I've been learning a lot. Um, unfortunately, my husband became Muslim a few months ago. I'm Christian. Oh boy. He used to be a Christian person. I guess he was very confused. He used to study the Bible a lot. Um, but he ended up uh, reading Quran and he just became Muslim now he's trying to force me to convert if I want to stay married to him you will leave him then I prefer to leave not to be married to a person believe in the devil yes I know at the I... same time ask your husband if you have the courage and he is uh, uh, sure from his faith to call me yeah, well, yeah. the only thing is that he he rejects every single thing that questions Muhammad or Quran. Yeah, or well, you know, I don't know what what kind of a person he is, but obviously, he, did he did he go to jail? No. How he became a Muslim? What happened? I don't know. He just he started with this Hebrew Israelites uh, people that they claim they're the blacks from. Africa and stuff mm -hmm. and then he from them so he's racist he he's somehow he's racist no no he was actually uh you know with on the uh, you know on their side they he said that yes they are the true Israelites and all of that <laughs> and he started you know studying Bible a lot but he, I guess he got into a big confusion and then he just, you know, he started yeah, some, somebody spoke to Quran. him and somebody did deceive him. He's a victim. But anyway, if you want, try your best to make him listen to my videos or to contact me and call me. I will be happy to talk to him. Yes, I this think. Why, this is why we say don't wait until it's too late. You see, if people do not learn about Islam before, Muslims, they can deceive them and they can lie to them. And, that, and then it's going to be late, too late. You know, it's going to take time before he leaves. I believe he will leave Islam, yeah. but it's going to take time. You know? Yeah, I, I keep praying and I have, you know, faith he will. Yeah, but you know, um, you know, in order in order to make him leave, uh, you have you have to speak to him in his logic. I don't know what his logic when he talked to you, but uh, mm -hmm. uh, the best way to fight a logic is to fight it with the own logic. So if you can tell me, provide me what 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 he say to you about why he became a Muslim then we can answer him yes well I have been actually asking him about certain things in Quran and Hadith like the you know breastfeeding of adults the killing of the apostates uh, you know things like that and he 
he gives me no answer. You know, he yeah, he's he, like, he, well, he, I cannot he, answer that question now. Yeah, because he's a potato. You know, most of them, those who convert to Islam, they convert because you know, sometimes uh, people they are searching for identity or a group. And I'm sure now, mm -hmm. uh, be, by became a Muslim, he have a new friends, don't he? Oh yeah, I See? think the same too. Yeah, this, he uh, wants to belong somewhere. Yes, you know? yes, he want to he want to be belong someone. He is seeking attention where he where he is where he is at. People are not giving him attention now. He will find himself important. People they want to talk to him. Uh, people want to invite him. He became a superstar. But after mm -hmm. uh, but after some time, he will become a normal Muslim, and nobody will care for him, and he will leave Islam. The average of people who convert to Islam, they live in in the in a maximum of three years. You know, mm -hmm. most of mm -hmm. Muslims who convert to Islam, they live in three years maximum. All right. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. I mean, I I hope it's sooner. Than somebody that. somebody is asking me to ask you: Is he did he join the nation of Islam? No, no, he actually hmm. is against them. Okay. He says they are kufar. So, so what he joined? What exactly? Muslim, Sunni, Shia. What he joined? Sunni. 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 Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yes. Well, I think I think he will leave Islam, but it's going to take time. But if he don't want to force you to convert, you better leave him then. You know, don't sell yourself. Yeah, yeah. Don't you sell he, yourself he to the devil? He is trying to push me to the corner, asking me, you know, things about God and stuff like what my belief is, and you know, I I stay on my faith. I. I'm not changing Christ. Yeah, be Allah. careful, be careful. Don't 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 let the devil take you down. You know, he will try, he will do his best. And uh, yeah. uh, I, I believe after some time he will find himself that uh, he is not getting the attention he wanted. Mostly people who do that, they have a mental issues. Sadly, I, I don't wanna I it, maybe it's hard to say that, but it's true. People they convert to Islam, they are suffering from Kind of this, you know, they are desperate, depression, mental illness, they are lonely, yeah. you know. Uh, there, there is a reason, but, but I cannot find one one person he convert to Islam because of something real, because there's nothing there in this cult. Yeah, I mean, it's it's shocking what the nonsense is, and they still believe in it. That's what you know shocks me. <laughs> yeah, he's looking for a the club. You know, he, jo he joined the club. It. He joined the club. From what he told me, you know, I don't think he will stay there for long. This guy is moving from place to place. Like you know, you see someone uh, became a Buddha and then became a Hindu and then became a Muslim and then became an atheist and then he became a Christian and then he became a Buddha. They are, you know, yeah. The the world is full of mental illness. What we can say. Yeah, I know. Well, I, I, I am, I'm I sorry for because Christ. this has happened to you. You know what? What happened to him? Let it happen. I, you know, for me, and you see, for me, I will not be sorry for anyone. He goes somewhere wrong. For this is his decision. As long nobody mm -hmm. forces him, okay, you know. But for you, you better find your own way. And I don't advise you to, you know, if he is trying. You said he's trying to force you to convert, or if you want to stay with him, which means he's making it as a condition. Then you better leave. Leave him. Mm -hmm. leave him yeah. and you know don't don't stay with him yeah you know? um i i have a question i've been trying to um find this I, I was watching one of your videos and uh there is this verse in quran mm. that says that men can have sex with their daughters if they're daughters out of marriage right yeah this is in the interpretation this is in chapter 25 verse 54 Yes, I have been trying to look for the tafsir for that, but, but it's cannot, only you cannot, Arabic. You cannot find it in English. Yeah, this is sadly we don't have it in our English. Uh, but I can give you the link in Arabic, in case you yeah. want. It, you know, but in English we don't have it. Yes, well, if you could give me the link, that would be helpful. But we if you have my books, I think I have it. it. I think I have it in my books. If you have my books, you know, if you go and get uh, six on Allah, there's value number mm -hmm. one and value number two. You will get it translated. Okay, yeah, I've been wanting to get them. Uh, I haven't been able to, but I want to get them soon. Yeah. Yeah, and um, I I'm sorry to take too much of your time. I, I wanted to know also, um, according to Islam, uh, is it lawful a friendship between a man and a woman in Islam? Because I've no. read about it. No. People say no. No. Uh, the woman in Islam, it was, she is a sex object. Therefore, Muhammad he said that you know every two every every uh, when a man and a woman they are together, 
the, the, the third one is the devil Shaitan, yeah yeah so he described himself as a devil because he is the one who always liked to be with the women alone the hypocrite mm. Muhammad he said to the Muslims don't go and be with the women alone but as you see he go to his own son house and he flirt with the wife and Allah mm. he made the penis of the husband swell you see the hypocrisy how, mm -hmm. how you say yeah, to people yeah. that if you cannot be alone with the women it's not lawful for you to do so and then he go to his own son house and he flirt with the wife not only he go he flirt with the wife but he flirts with her yeah 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 so it, it is pro prohibited in i sent you the link i sent you the link for the, for the uh, the one about having sex with your daughter if she is daughter out of marriage to your skype oh. so you can oh. you can have it you know later if you can get somebody to translate for you yeah perfect that would be great i, I want to show him that and my know. friend stay stay all with us and learn so you can occupy yourself with with uh, with knowledge and he will not be able to fool you however if he try to force you leave don't ever stay don't ever live with the devil yeah yeah right. that's true well yes. thank you very much you're and welcome and we will God pray. bless you we will pray for you sister we'll pray for you may the lord uh, help you and keep you strong so he will not be able with with his devil to overcome you Amen. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Take care. Yeah. Bye. You see, guys, this is what we are talking about. You don't tell your family, you don't share with your family, you have no knowledge yourself. And then suddenly something hit you. Here we go. Look at this sad story. This woman, she never imagined that such a thing will happen to her. Madness. You have a daughter you have a son you have a child you have a wife you have a husband they go to work they see people they meet people and they have no knowledge of Islam and people lie about Islam everybody lie about Islam Obama he go in TV he say Islam mean peace Hillary Clinton she say Islam is peace George Bush says Islam is peace the the the, the Prime Minister of England say Islam is peace so what do you expect from people to say I mean everybody is repeating a lie yet everybody in the news says that there is Muslim terrorists want to kill us everywhere Islam is peace. So why you arrested today? Three people, they, you know, a Lebanese guy, he want to do po put uh, bacterias and poison in the water in Italy to, to, to destroy, to kill as many thousands as he can. He can. Hello? Hello? Hey, there was my, my friend. Hey, CP, how you doing? Oh, um, right. Am I loud and clear? You are loud and clear. Okay. Yeah, um, I heard that last caller, uh, the call, I want to say a few things about that. Um, as I remember, um, in, in my younger days around college, I, I was, well, I'll say I flirted with the kind of thing that the guy did. Um, I always was, was a strong <laughs> Christian, okay. but that guy most likely is coming from kind of a black righteous stand against the man type thing um way of looking at it put it well it's a couple of things mostly it's a self-esteem issue and that's brought about by lack of knowledge of history and things like that because she said he was a hebrew israelite um before he was a before he joined islam right um now I, I've talked to a few of those guys. Um, as a matter of fact, the kid that used to go to my church started to flirt with that stuff, and it, it it's it's obviously ridiculous on his face. You know, on his face that these people would believe that they are uh, Israelites uh, or Jews. You know, now there are black uh, black Jews, uh, black people that consider themselves Jews, but they're like up around Ethiopia, the other side of Africa. Uh, us African American folks up in Europe, we're West Africans, mm -hmm. clearly not Jews. <laughs> you know that they could buy that. It's a self esteem issue. Um, but when I started to see through it, is when I started to one study Islam, Christianity, apologetically here. And then I started to realize that God is bigger than this particular conflict. You know what's happening with, with black folks, African-American folks. He's mm -hmm. just bigger than that. 
you know, um, black people, African Americans, are not the only people to have been enslaved. You Absolutely, know, <laughs> we're not. You know, um, I know. But, I was actually, the black I, people themselves, they they had their own slaves before too. I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. See, you know, when you look at an, enough history, enough of different cultures, you realize that people are people, and it's the ideals that are good and evil that that make people do good and bad that's what it's about and any any tribe or ethnicity or any other grouping of people that you want to identify they are capable of both doing good and evil according to what they believe you know, i think uh, bill one says the doctrine drives the behavior you know you take like islam for instance you got black people in Africa, Sub-Saharan Africa, what are they doing? Kidnapping girls, raiding schools, stuff like that, Boko Haram. Yeah. You know, in the West, you know, India around there, what are they doing? They're having wars, religious wars, trying to co-op land, things like that. You have terrorist groups in Europe and that type of thing. It's the doctrine that that determines the behavior. Sounds like her husband is on that same type of thing that I was on back 20 some years ago trying to make look trying to make God serve his you know our own individual needs as we define them uh, instead of us serving God um so to her I would say I I, I agree definitely with what you told me number one don't if he's trying to insist that you can that she convert to Islam or if would well, not be married to her, then choose not to be married to him. Don't turn, you know, don't leave Jesus for anything at all. If I can only leave you one thing, they'll be to put all your trust in Jesus. The other thing is this guy has to, he just has to learn that one, we're not the only people to go through struggles like this. Mm -hmm. You know, black people are not the only people to have been enslaved. And everybody has to deal with this. And that this is not something, well, like any other problem, this is something that people can get over and, and overcome. You know, God is just bigger than that. And from, I mean, it's, I think it's pretty clear from what she told that his God, what he has in his mind is not bigger than the people. You know, it's clearly not. So. Yeah, you know, uh, those kind of people, they, they, they will leave Islam sooner or later because this guy, he will go sooner or later through the process to know what Islam is about and he will leave. It's just a process, you know, it's a process of, uh, of uh, uh, in the beginning he is new. This is why I, I saw a video conference in Chicago where they said uh, they, were, they were discussing why most of those who convert to Islam, maybe 97% of them, they leave Islam after three years maximum, mm -hmm. you know. Because simply they convert based on lies, and later they find out that it's a big fat lie, and they leave. So I'm not really all those who convert. Most of them they leave, and at the same time when they leave, they will become an enemy to Islam. Yeah, you know. Yeah. You remember the story of this guy convert to Islam? Yeah, he was convert. making videos since he was 16 years old. Yeah, I saw some of those. You know, his old video. Yeah, he is a convert to Islam. He learned Arabic, etc. He he tried to convert people to Islam. Muslim they sponsor him, etc. And then look what happened. Now he is number one enemy to Islam. So actually, those who convert to Islam, they can be very useful in the future to fight Islam. And I assure you that most of them they will be the enemy of Islam, and they will be an ex they will be an extreme damage to Islam. Mm. You see. One of the reasons people they listen to that video of that guy mm. uh, don't convert to Islam. What, what is the reason people listen to him? Was well, so he used to be a Muslim? Because he's a Muslim. He like they yeah. ask me now, are you an ex-Muslim? Just because I say no, Muslim they they take a credit from me. You know what I mean? The second you say you're an ex-Muslim, so like okay, oh he must be like a big deal now. You know the same as yeah. for the Muslims. You say I am an ex-Christian, I became a Muslim. The Muslim they they give you a high, higher rank. You know. So, okay, yeah. but but those who convert to Islam and leave, they really are going to to, to, to be the, the worst enemy to Islam, because they were inside the cult, not yeah. outside. 
and then they knew more than what the normal person know. They cannot lie. You cannot. They can. You know, like if you go to this guy convert to Islam, he he have tons of videos. Go and watch his videos about how amazing the Prophet Muhammad, how beautiful Islam is, and look what what happened. What happened? Suddenly he discovered that he was a fool. Everything they told him it was a lie. It was a scam. Yeah. So for me, I find that those who convert to Islam are a great opportunity for a future impact on the cult of Islam, not the opposite. They leave, they will leave. Yeah. Most of them, they will leave and they will do a very bad damage. So the Muslim, they might be happy for a few, uh, you know, okay, this person convert to Islam, but wait. Wait until you see what will happen next. Yeah. yeah. There is a there is a woman there is a woman let me tell you the story there is okay. a woman she converted to Islam and then she called me uh, she was you know she argued with me etc and then one day she called me she said I am out of Islam I said why she said <laughs> the sheikh you know uh, I asked him a story about a woman the woman her name is Soda. Mm -hmm. So this, uh, you know, uh, the story is simply uh, showing how Muhammad he have no ethic. So uh, she asked, and none of the Muslims want to talk about it. And none of the Muslims, they say, even they said to her, "Don't question. The Prophet is high ethic, and there's nobody can question his ethic." But the story says about the, about the stuff about him written in more books. So what do you mean, don't question? It says bad things. So what do you mean? So they forbid her from asking questions. And then the Sheikh he came to her. She said, she said. I am young, she is a blonde, she is white, and the guy, he's an Arab, the sheikh in the mosque. Mm -hmm. So he came to her house and he, he knocked at the door and she was surprised that he's in front of her door. She said, mm -hmm. uh, how, how can I help you? He said, I came to teach you how to pray. <laughs> he said, but I cannot let you inside the house, I'm alone. He said, it's okay because we are going to teach you how to pray, nothing wrong with that, you know? And okay. she said, okay, how you want to teach me how to pray? What I should do? I, I know how to pray already. I'm, I convert from a year ago. You know, well, what do you mean you want to teach me how to pray? He said, I think you are not doing the abolition in the right way. Okay. The abolition, he, he went to teach her how to do abolition, which means he had to go with her in the bathroom. <laughs> she uh -huh. had to lift up her, her, her skirt. Are you going to wash her feet and her hands? And, uh, you know, so... Uh, she, uh, right away she said to me that everything he was telling me in the mosque it was the opposite from what he want to do when he come to me he's a sheikh he's not like a normal muslim okay. so uh, uh, and then she 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 start us uh, you know like questioning uh, stories about muhammad and she noticed that muslims are no better than their prophet they don't allow the questions about muhammad because they don't dare to face the reality of how filthy he was and their reality is more ugly than his reality. They do everything not right, but yet they claim to be the best of mankind. Everything illegal. The one who who break the credit card are Muslims. The one who, if you go, if you go in Europe now, you know, uh, uh, if you want to have a, a, a fake, you know, software, where do you buy it? Muslims. I went to the Philippines, you know. And okay. my, my phone damaged. I want to fix it. So I went there. The whole place is run by Muslims. What they have? Window for free. Any software you want for free. One dollar. One dollar. Oh, they are controlling the market of, of, of theft. If, you, if, you, if your wallet is gone, who is going to find it for you? Ask the Muslims. If you, if you have a son is kidnapped, who is going to find your son? The Muslims. If you if you have a person who want to buy drugs, you buy it from whom? From the Muslims. If you want to have a fake passport, from whom? From the Muslims. Okay. You know? Yeah. But yet, when they speak about dignity, nobody have dignity like them. Nobody. They are the best in the world. Nobody is decent as they are. Yeah, yeah. They they use the example of Muhammad <laughs> to basically give them permission. The same when you speak about really Muhammad. The, the the second you start talking about Muhammad, they give you that he is the best. Like this guy here that they just called me, I'm showing him that the Prophet he look at the women she is married and he is flirting with her, and Allah made the man penis as well, and still he's saying the Prophet is the best of mankind. <laughs> Imagine your father come to your house, and then he flirt with your wife, and he is the best of mankind. <laughs> yeah, 
your own father you see yeah. uh, 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 I mean the, the madness is the, it's kind of a stupidity uh, versus madness you know they are in competition with with uh, with, with stupidity <laughs> Madness and competition with stupidity. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. because uh, think about it. I mean, you are just reading for me yourself. You are reading that he was a flirting with the wife, which is married to yeah. his son. It's not even a stranger to his son. Yeah, of all people. I mean, what a yeah. shameful person! If if a, if a friend do that to you, he, 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 you know, he is a scumbag. He's a he's, a, he's a, just a friend because he betray you. Yeah. So what about you know? Like you see, we we have a similar story in the Bible about David, right? <clears throat> David, he did he did commit sin, and he wanted a woman. She is not his. But you will see David. He cried for God, asking for forgiveness. He don't make himself a hero. Hold right. on, hold on. We have a Abdul. It's calling. Hold on. Yeah. Hey Abdul, why you are calling? Uh, you, you, I just listened to the last caller. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. you, when you said uh, that uh, the prophet, <laughs> yani, the, I read about the, the the topic you were saying, mm. and and it is completely different to 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 what you are saying about the prophet <laughs> What do you mean? The translation of the of the of the verse is completely different. What translation? <laughs> the sorry, the, the the explanation of the verse is completely different. What what verse? Uh, yani, I don't. Yani, I, I just want you to know what the that, verse. What yani, verse? What verse? Uh, the verse. Okay. What about it? Go ahead. Yeah. The, what is the? Uh, yani, the, 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 um, the, the exegesis of this verse. Uh, as I'm reading now, mm -hmm. it doesn't say that the Prophet <laughs> was flirting with, with, the, with, the, with the wife, of the, really? or, with his son. It doesn't, of course. <laughs> And, and it doesn't say that at all. What happened is do you want, that. Do you want to challenge? Uh, uh, I, 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 I'm not really read on this issue, but I am reading. No, you call me. No, no, my saying. friend, you call me. So you don't tell me I'm not read about this issue. Do you want to challenge me that he flirted with her? Uh, the Prophet ﷺ did not flirt. My friend, with do you want to challenge me? Yes or no? Either you say I will challenge you or you say I will not challenge you. So what do you want to do? Choose one. Uh, I, can, I can go into it and read it with you. My friend. Don't tell me I go challenge me. I want you to get me busted because one of us is a liar. So what about you get me busted? Can we go? I'm not it? a liar. I'm no, not no. a liar. But I'm not saying no, 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 no. One of us is a liar. If it's not you, it must be me then. So are you willing to challenge me? No, it doesn't. Not necessarily. Uh, no, you no, it's necessarily you because confused, it's a, because it is necessarily not. because one of us is telling the truth and one of us is lying. It cannot be both of us not telling telling the truth. So I'm asking you. Did your prophet flirt with the wife? Yes or no? He did not flirt. Okay. He was. He was giving. Are you? He was giving are you willing? To, are you willing to challenge me? Uh, I, I want to say. Uh, that uh, 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 are like, you willing to challenge me? Why you don't want to challenge me? What's wrong with the challenging me and get me busted in the front of so all those Christians? So long. So long as you are fair. I'm. I'm asking you. I'm. I'm being fair. I'm asking you why you don't want to challenge me. Uh, I want to challenge you, but you have to be fair. I, what what fair is more than being fair to challenge you? I mean, challenge me. Here because we go. Why you are not asking me? You are a liar, Christian Prince. Show me where you get this from. Show me where you get this from. Okay, here we go. Thank you. So you challenge me now. That's wonderful. Guys, here we go. I will make you read it yourself and you tell me what's happening. Remember, you did call me. That's mean you study the case now. You are ready more. You, you ate vitamin no, I mean, D. I read it quickly. I read it uh, quickly. quickly. I it completely uh, different what you're saying. Quickly. I see. I mean, come on. He's not ready yet. Do you want me to give you a year to come back? No, no. Go ahead. Inshallah. <laughs> inshallah will be uh, Yeah, exposed. inshallah. Allah is not going to help you at all. Read with me. Inshallah. Read with me. وَقَالَ مُقَاتِلُ زوج النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم زينب بنت جحش من زين من زيد فمكثت عنده حين ثم انه عليه السلام اتى زيدا يوما يطلبه فابصر زينب قائمه كانت بيضاء جسيمه من اتم yes. نساء قريش فهويها وقال سبحان الله مقلب القلوب exactly this is what i was reading translate this is what i was reading okay translate yes. okay translate exactly okay listen translate uh, translate translate yes trans translate translate you translate go ahead <coughs> It says, uh, of course, يعني, الناس في هذه الآية. there is a difference between the reading the verse. Read, read. You have to get, let me, uh, طيب, let's get with, an with something beneficial out of this. Hmm. 
اختلف الناس في تقول هذا يا ذا سكولرز ديفرنت ديفرد اكوردنج تو ذا انتربريتيشن اوف ذيس فيرس ذهب قتاده ابن زيد وجماعه المنافسين ا جروب اوف ذوس اكسبلينرز امونج ذيم از الطبري one of the greatest explainers uh, of the, of all times hmm. he he uh, he uh, he uh, went he he explained it as follows hmm. that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam waqa'a minhu istihsan li zayd ibn tijahs he felt yani uh, istihsan which means he felt that she was um, <laughs> يعني, يعني he, he wanted her he wanted her but she is married yes uh, no in, in the heart yeah but he's, like she's married at that moment she's married right But he didn't flirt with her. Yeah, yeah. See? But she is married, right? She is married. Okay. Are you allowed as a Muslim to wish a woman in your heart, and she is married? This is not, you have no you have no power over this. No, no. This, you are human being. Oh, 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 no, oh, oh, oh. So he wish her in his heart, and he have no power over that. This is love. Why did the Prophet ﷺ say? He this, said, is he this is love. This is love, right? Okay. Yes, he loved her. Okay. He loved her. okay. Now read, read the hadith said, for me. Read, one, read, one read. Second, read, one the read the hadith. One read the hadith. Read the hadith. Let me, let me explain. Let mm. me explain. فوقع وقع منه استحسان لزينب بنت جحش. He, he, he felt, um, يعني, uh, he loved, يعني, he felt, uh, not love, but استحسان means to think of something as good. Mm. So he thought of her as good. Mm. And how did he see her? He didn't look at her intentionally. As, as it says that uh, it was you know, you know, he, he, he by accident he saw her Abdul, the, Abdul read yes, the story and translate it stop, yes, stop, yes. Okay, stop translate, okay. we translate exactly okay. word by word okay. he felt mm. towards her um, يعني, feeling towards her mm. <laughs> while she was under the uh, marriage of uh, Zaid mm. وكان حريصا ان يطلقها زيد فيتزوجها and he and he was wishing he was hoping and he was wishing mm. just as human beings wish that mm. he would get her mm. see if uh, زيد divorces her mm. you see ثم ان زيد لما اخبره but afterwards when زيد to, uh, uh, told him that بانه يريد فراقها that he wants to divorce her ويشكو منها غلظة قول وعسان أمر and and ويشكو منها غلظة قول وعس غلظة قول وعسان أمر and he was uh, uh, complaining to the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم Zayd was complaining to the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم that uh, the, 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 his wife was being harsh towards him and was not uh, was being disobedient to him hmm. and was harming him with, with her tongue. She is a bad so she so she so she is a bad woman. No, he was complaining about that. Okay, but but, she, but obviously, so if a woman she she have a bad tongue with her husband, according to Muhammad, she is a bad woman, right? Uh, she, she is if she is uh, having a bad tongue, yeah, she would, but she doesn't say that. Yeah, it says that. It says, no, it says that. It says, it says oh, no, no, hold on, hold on. Let's I'm go. Not, I'm not it says, interested. I'm not interested. Wa ada wa ada bil lisan wa Read it. Wa ada bil lisan. So she have she have a bad she have a bad she have a bad tongue. She have a bad tongue, and she discredit his honor. Correct. What? No, he was complaining that she has a bad tongue. Yes, he, she, so she she is a bad woman. So why Muhammad he won this bad no, woman? No, he was complaining that she has a bad. Yes, tongue. Yes, he's lying or he's saying the truth. He, he he could could be emotional. What what does that mean? Yeah, and sometimes you, you now you're being emotional. Okay, 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 go go read, continue. Let us laugh. Continue, continue, continue. continue, continue, continue and she continue. was thinking okay. of. Herself so you are saying that Muhammad he wanted the woman. I'm Muhammad he wanted the woman. And the women, she is a bad woman. She is she she have a bad bad tongue. She is not treating her husband respectfully. No, he wants her because she is beautiful. Ah, so he don't care even if she is a whore, just because she is beautiful. So how yeah, Muhammad? Yeah. Okay, how Muhammad noticed that us, this let woman? Us, let us translate. How, us how translate. Muhammad let noticed? Translate. How Muhammad? Hold on. How Muhammad knew that this woman is a beautiful, if she is a Muslim woman and she is wearing a burqa. Uh, because this as it says the, the the curtain was the wind blew the curtain and he uh, uh, took a glimpse the curtain blew the wind the yes, wind blew the says. curtain explain to us go 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 ahead yes well, it's not it's not uh, it's not uh, the if, curtain this, guys the this, curtain this, blew the, the wind blew the curtain i mean the muhammad he did not yes. look okay read read with me read okay he took a, he bought me by accident read 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 so okay what read. Did he say hmm. we read the translation hmm. so he said when so upon that upon after he came to complain to him hmm. and the prophet had seen his wife and mm. he took a glimpse at her and so and he even in another glimpse. narration he says he, guys he take a glimpse glimpse, a glimpse. okay glorified is allah the turner of hearts what mm. does this mean it means that his heart mm. is in the hands of allah he's are the you, one are you are you, are you translating everything we see in the screen why you are not translating 
no, this is, it comes later, but because... No, uh, I want you to read. I want you to read. I highlight it for you. I want you to read and translate, please. No, I'm not reading on, on the screen. I'm reading... Okay, on, on read the, what it says. Uh, it says that... Uh, but I'm translating the same the same. No, thing. you are not translating. You are not. You are passive. You jump. I'm not on YouTube. I am not. It doesn't matter. YouTube. Read and and what you have in your hand. وقال مقاتل زوج النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم زينا بنت جحش من زيد فمكثت عنده حينا ثم إنه عليه السلام أتى زيدا يوما يطلبه فأبصر زينا بقائمة كانت بيضاء جس جميلة جسيمة من أتم نساء قريش فهويها. وقال سبحان الله مقلب القلوب. Translate. What did he do? Translate. He said, Translate. سبح... Yes. So he, when he took a gl... فأبصر زينا بقائمة. When he looked at Zainab, mm. he took a glimpse at Zainab. Mm. It, it doesn't say intentionally. Mm. The Prophet ﷺ, he taught us. What that do you mean he did not say? Don't... What What do you mean intentionally? He came to the house of Zayd, correct? No, uh, it doesn't say that. It says that. ثم أتى عليه السلام زيدا يوما يطلبه stop line uh, probably yes, yeah properly properly, properly. Yeah. okay so فأبصر زينا بقائمة okay فأبصر 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 زينا بقائمة so he saw زينا standing okay continue explain yes he saw he saw زينا standing and she was okay she was beautiful and white and, and of and, the most and beautiful big, women and of big, Quraysh and big and fat and she is from the most beautiful women of Quraysh correct that is correct. Okay. So Hawiyaha, something hmm. in his heart came into something came into his heart. Okay. So he. So, he, so, so now he, he said, is. So now he is in love with women. She is married. Uh, he is a human being. He said, hmm. Subhanallah, he muqallib al qulub. Can't you hold? Can't you? Okay. Wait, wait a Let second. Let us say wait you a are second. a human being. Can't you hold your tongue yes. from speaking to a married woman, saying to her, "My heart is beating for you." Is that he a normal? He didn't say to her. He didn't say that. No, he, he said, said that, that to her. He said that to her. Read with me what carefully. Did he say? It says, Fasami'at Zainab, Fasami'at Zainab. He did not say that in his heart. He speak that. No, he spoke it, but for in, to himself. He said, Subhanallah. If he spoke that to himself, how she heard it? He, is, he She heard it. Aha, uh -huh. so it's not for himself, obviously, because you know that when you speak a, a, a voice, which people they can hear or they cannot. So he no, he, he no, spoke the listen, word. Listen, so so listen, she heard. So she listen, heard. Listen, she listen. heard. So so Zainab, she heard him praising her. Right? Does it say that? He, she didn't praise it. Let us read the translation, and people will understand. Mm -hmm. فسمع زينب بالتسبيح والتسبيح وقال سبحان الله مقلب القلوب something came into his heart about her so he said سبحان الله glorified is Allah the turner of hearts so his heart turned for her فسمعت one second فسمعت زينب بالتسبيح زينب understood what was going on she she heard the what she understood now what she understood she understood that Muhammad she understood that the Prophet saw her no, not so saw her, he, that he want yes. her. He want her. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, thank you. So now what she did next, she told her husband, correct? She told her husband. Okay. Zayd understood this. Understood what? That, that the Prophet, understood that the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he, 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 loved, he loves his wife. Wow, amazing, yes. guys. Amazing. Hold on, 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 hold on a moment, guys. So now Zayd, he come to the conclusion. That the prophet he have a relationship with his wife. The no. You just said no. that the prophet he loved his wife and he said that to his wife. Did not loves her in the. He, he, he thinks of her well. What do you mean he, he think of, of her, her well? What well? He said my heart is a flipping for you. So he, he didn't say for that Fatina, to her. And you are the one who said you, you are, are you are the one who just said everybody Fatina. heard you. You are the one who just said that now he he, he noticed that the prophet he want her. He, he want her to do what with her? You are the one who said he want her to do what with her? Zayd understood that the Prophet uh, has feelings for, for his wife. فقال, he has said, feeling. Oh Prophet of Allah, hmm. one second. He said, Ya Rasulullah, O oh Prophet of Allah, إذن لي في طلاقها. Hmm. Uh, allow me to uh, allow me to, uh, to 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 divorce her. فإن فيها كبرا تعظم علي وتؤذيني بلسانها. She has she has arrogance. تعظم علي وتؤذيني بلسانها. My friend, your Arabic is horrible. It's me, it's, okay. Yes. تعظم علي وتؤذيني بلسانها. فقال عليه السلام أمسك عليك زوجك. So now let's translate. What does this mean? So so look 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 guys. Look what happened. Hold on hold on. What happened? Hold on. I want you to confirm this. So now Zayd, after he heard that Muhammad, he flirted with his wife, he went to Muhammad, he told him, and he wanted her, and you are the one who said that. 
he want her so he went to muhammad he said to him you know what let me divorce my wife she is not really good she is like hurting me with her tongue she is so no, proud no 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 the prophet was telling way to the, the, the zaid went to the prophet and he told them oh prophet of allah hmm. allow me to divorce her because he wants him to marry her he said allow me to divorce her she he, she harmed he want he want his father to marry his wife he's not his father he's not his father he's his father doesn't matter he is his father by adoption he's he adopted him he adopted by him adoption. yes by adoption. that's it you are a father you are a father the second you adopt your your, your word is more than the, the blood as an honor the second you the it. second you say the I second yeah because you Muslim have no dignity no more you have no dignity so you we, we, the, we the, don't the, the second it's, it's not up to you that. did he adopt him yes or no <clears throat> the adopted son is not the biological son did did Muhammad says Ana Abu Zaid wa Zaidun minni? before that verse that's came, it so Zaid, guys he said Muhammad he said many times that I am the father of Zaid and Zaid is of me that's it yes but so but then طيب, طيب, but then but then look what translate. happened then what let happened Muhammad 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 he got horny he won the women suddenly he don't want adoption anymore so now he fabricate a verse from the from Allah saying that adoption is haram is that correct uh, he, uh, he didn't fabricate it. Well, okay, but why him. why the verse of adoption, forbidden adoption, did not happen like, until Muhammad like, he go and see like, the naked women? He didn't. Let me let me translate, mm. and you will understand. Let oh. us translate. فسمعت زينب بالتسبيحة فذكرتها لزيد. Zainab heard the glorification of the Prophet mm. and she mentioned it to Zayd. Zayd was intelligent, he understood what happened. Mm. Oh Prophet mm. of Allah, allow me to divorce her. She has uh, she, she is uh, becoming she she, she is she is greater than me in status and she is uh, using her tongue uh, and, and, and harming me with her tongue. Because he wants the Prophet to marry her. فقال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said, أمسك عليك زوجك واتق الله. Hold your wife to you and fear Allah. Okay, hold on, hold on. What does Guys, this mean? Here, look, look, what look, does this mean? look at the scam of Muhammad. He a second ago he was in the house of the man flirting with the wife, and now the, the husband is saying to him, I want to divorce her. Muhammad said, Man, keep your wife for you, man. Don't do that. Don't divorce her. Why you want to divorce her? But is it him? Is, is it him? Is it him who flirt with loud voice so the woman she will hear him and she will tell her husband? He was he in, in, intentionally said. Don't that. he and knew? Reason, he intentionally. What do you mean that intentionally? Here we go. The man he came and he is he, now he want to divorce his wife. He's, he never wanted to divorce his wife. He's happy with her. And now he think. noticed. And you are the one who said to me, "For Fatina Zaid." So Zaid, he noticed now. Uh oh. My but father, he want my 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 women. He want to have sex with her. So let me why divorce. The, why let did me the get prophet, one second? Hmm. Why did the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam advise uh, Zaid with that? Because he's trying to say that I am not the one who won it, but he want him to divorce it. You are the one who said that, right? So that's mean he's hypocrite. In his heart, no, he want. He, in his because he was no, honest. No, he's not honest. He's not important. honest. You are the one who said to me in his heart he want her, right? Sahih. Okay, so in his heart he want her, in his tongue he don't want her. That is hypocrisy. That's a lie. No, that is the truth. That's, That's the, the truth. What the truth. truth? If I say to you, I don't want your wife, don't divorce her. But in in my heart, I want you to divorce her. Where is the truth? You, you give the advice when you are when. What advice? What advice? What advice? Ask, what advice? What kind of advice? Because I go to your house. Explain. I am the one who destroy your house already. I am the one who went to your house, flirt with the wife. The wife she told the husband. The husband now he want to divorce the wife, and now the husband came into me, and now I say to him, "Oh, keep your wife for you." And look what happened. Allah, He sent him a verse, says to Allah, said to Muhammad, "Why you are hiding what Allah revealed to you?" Which means Allah is part of the crime. Allah is involved. No. Allah, Allah is involved would in you the. Let me explain. Oh would no, no, explain? I will let you explain. Allah, He sent the verse saying to Muhammad, "Why you are hiding what I revealed to you? What Allah revealed to Muhammad that I will give you that woman? Is that correct?" Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, He says, uh, "You hide from the people what Allah will make." So clear. Muhammad is a liar okay. again. Why no, Muhammad? No, no, why no. Muhammad is hiding what Allah there, revealed there to him? Are, there are there are many things here. The first is that the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He gave advice to Zayd that he holds his wife because he did not, uh, because be, although he loves her, but he has to get, he has an obligation to give an advice. He said, "Amsik alik zawda," and then <laughs> Allah Subhanahu wa Taala tells him, "Wa tuqfi fi nafsi kama Allahu mubdih." You hide in yourself that you love her. You see that that you that you want her, but Allah Subhanahu wa Taala will make it clear. You see, "Wa taqshan nasa," and you fear the people that they will say you you, you married. 
the, the, the wife of your uh, of your adopted son well, because that used to be something which pe people Arabs didn't accept. Thank you but very much, guy. Did yes. he say? Did he yes. say the Arab don't accept? Yes. That was a shame. That was a shame. Arab don't do but, that. Arab yes, don't marry but, their but, own. They don't so, do so, and flirt. So, you see, the Arab they have more dignity than you Muslims. The Arab before Islam they are a lot better than you. You just admitted that the Arab before the that. Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Hold on! Said, don't tell me the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Get, get, just go, go. I'm done with you. Go, go. We, we are done. What? What is more? What is more than this garbage? No, no. I, I lost my voice. I don't want to talk no more. Go. Stupid. Everybody's laughing. We got what we want. A prophet of God, he go to the house of the man, he flirt with the wife, he speak loudly so she would hear him. And actually, I believe already uh, 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 this woman, she's sleeping with Muhammad. Muhammad, he did marry her to his son so he can go there. It's an excuse. Obviously, they have a relationship together. This person was a slave. Muhammad, he married this woman to the slave so he can go to the house of the slave and he adopted him as an excuse to go to his house. And then when Muhammad became so powerful, he do not need... Uh, guys, don't call me now. Just hold on. Don't call me, please. Muhammad now do not need any excuse no more. That's it. He became powerful. Anytime he need anything, he say, Allah told me. So here we go. Muhammad, he forbid adoption. Don't call me, man. What's wrong with you? The person, this is not the Muslim is calling me a mother, no Christian. Don't call me. Just wait. So Muhammad now... He brought Allah to this madness. What kind of God he need to, to make a chapter about this? Let me let me block you. What's wrong with you? Where, where is this guy? I have to block you now. I mean, you, you have a madness. Go. In order to make things legitimate, he bring Allah and says, Allah told me, why you are hiding your love to the woman? What kind of ethic of God does have? Allah will encourage me to have a lust of a woman she is married? And now I'm trying to make her get divorced? How I, Muhammad is the one who made her get divorced because he is the one who said that to her. And I am sure that this woman, she is in conspiracy with Muhammad already. He told her, when your husband come back, tell him what he can do. He's no one for me. He knew that this guy would get killed in a second if he say no. So the man was smart. He said, oh, oh, Muhammad, he want her. He will kill me. Obviously, he's sleeping with my wife already anyway. When a man come to your house and flirt with your wife, and the wife, she tell you that. And then the wife, the proof that the wife is a whore. Look what the wife, she say. The wife, she say, and after the prophet, he flirt with me. Each time my husband went to sleep with me, Allah, he made his penis swell. Isn't it obvious that this woman is a whore and she's a liar? Because who's going to believe in such a lie? That God made the penis of the husband as well. Obviously, it's a fabricated lie. So obviously, she is in the bed with Muhammad already. She claimed that Allah is involved. It's not her and Muhammad having a relationship, cheating behind the poor husband. Here we go. Allah made the penis of my husband as well. Each time I want to have sex with me, his penis is fine. But the second he gets close to me, his penis became like a balloon. <laughs> what do you want more to prove that Muhammad is, is a false man? Do we need more? This is God. If this is God, what is Satan? If this is God, what is Satan? Look what is involved in this conspiracy about the penis of Muhammad. Everybody tried to make the penis of Muhammad. Why Muhammad need this woman anyway? Muhammad have many wives already. Why he need more? And look, if we go in the Quran, you will see the verses before it. How Muhammad he got this woman to be the married to that man and later to be married to him. Let us see. <laughs> what a scam. <clears throat> you will see here if the Prophet and Allah they decide a man a matter, 
if Allah and the Prophet they decide something what they decide sex party you believe it sex party Allah and Muhammad they decide sex party they sit together and they made a decision read carefully with me chapter 33 verse number 36 وَمَا كَانَ لِمُؤْمِنٍ وَلَا مُؤْمِنَا إِذَا قَضَى اللَّهُ وَرَسُولَهُ Who is the one who made decision in this world? Allah and Muhammad. Read it. If Allah and the Messenger, they made, they decide a manner, a matter. Allah and Muhammad decide a matter? It's not to the believers to say no. That's it. Muhammad, he wanted the women. He want the women to marry from this man. He want the women to get this word from this man. He want, he can't take any women. According to the book of, of uh, interpretation, they said Muhammad he was given many privilege, and one of them, if his eyes fall into a woman, her husband must divorce her immediately. If his eyes fail into a woman, her husband must divorce her. Who said that? Ibn Arabi. Go and read and laugh. Read with me. It is not fitting, fitting for a believer, a man or a woman. When a matter has been decided by Allah and his messenger, who is Muhammad? Muhammad and Allah, they make decision together? This is shirk. Muslims are mushrikeen, kuffar, pagans. They kiss a black stone, they worship Muhammad, they consider him that he and God, they make order together. Muhammad and Allah, they make decision together? How that can be? Imagine that I say to you that me and Yahweh, we make decision together. What does that mean? Isn't it obvious that I'm saying that I, I share decision with God? Is that correct, guys? Isn't it clear? And what is the matter? It's about Zaid. Read. Here we go. It's about Zaid. <laughs> what, what the matter? It's about sex. It is Allah and the messenger to decide. That's it. Muhammad, he want the women. Allah, he want the, Muhammad to have the women. The rest had to shut up. If this is if this is religion, what is shit? Excuse my language. If this is God, then what is shit? If this is a prophet, so what is sewage? This is God? I don't like to use those words, but I have to use it. I mean, you, you people have to be crazy to believe in this garbage. Allah and Muhammad, they decide the matter. And what is about? It's about Muhammad. He want to have a woman. She is married. What a sick cult. Again, guys, I advise you all of you to download the video after we finish, especially this one and the ones before it, because I'm going to do cleaning to my channel. Uh, I might wait for uh, 24 hours, and then you will see many videos are disappearing. The reason we do that, because we want people to download and share around. And I encourage Muslims, like this guy who called me, to download the video and post it in his YouTube. Obviously, you made victory, my brother. Obviously. Many Muslims, they will they will love what you did. You are the same as Muhammad Ijab. Allah, he pray for, but not to. <laughs> anyway, guys, we will try to open. I'm not sure if tomorrow I will open because it looks like I'm getting sick somehow. I will drink camel urine. Uh, no, no more call, please, today. No more call. We are done for today. Uh, we, uh, you know, uh, I will try tomorrow to open if I can, if I feel better, but look like uh, I have a headache and um, I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> anyway, uh, tomorrow, oh, tomorrow is Friday. Already I'm Friday, actually. I should open Friday. Unbelievable. 
Ah, mm. uh, okay. I will try to open tomorrow, but we will see. If not, then Saturday we will be here. All right, guys. Uh, I want to say thank you for being here. Please don't forget to download the video, share it around. As I said, many of them they will disappear. And I advise everybody to download, including the Muslims, download all my videos and let the whole world see what kind of a scam you believe in. If this is your God, then who is Satan? That is a good question to ask. A God who have nothing to do except satisfying the sexual desire of Muhammad. God who created the heaven and the earth is worried about Zainab and Zaid and Muhammad. God, hey Muhammad, you want the women? Tony, Tony, go and get the women. Pray, buy has some pizza. I mean, what, what kind of God this God is? God who created the galaxies. Do you know how small we are, how tiny we are? And he is busy about Zainab and about Muhammad and about the women. She is big, fat, and tall. And by the way, it says in Arabic, she is fat. And the reason they say that because the Arab, they like fat women at that time. Jasima, you know, she is big, fat. The Arab, you see, they, they have songs. Like if a woman, she is skinny, that means she is sick. Ah, yuck. No way, you know. So in the old days, if a woman, she is really, really, really fat, that means she is so, so, so zigzy. All right? So Muhammad, he could not resist. I mean, she is so fat. And she is so white. Like, wow. Yummy, yummy. Which is so beautiful. I'm not making fun of anyone. Look, by the way, I'm just saying, trying to explain to you why it says there that she is big and fat, and the prophet he loved her. You know, she is fat and big and white. Oh boy. Anyway, guys, I hope you have a good time together. Don't forget to download the, especially this part where this Muslim Abdul he called us, and uh, he said the great stuff exposing his prophet. It was a good time to have with you. I will try to be here tomorrow. If not, maybe Saturday. I hope the cold will not take effect of me and I will not get sick. Until I see you soon again, may the Lord bless you. Christ is Lord. And obviously, Islam is a sick cult. Fit for the one who have a sick minded. We have a mental issue. Not for me. I don't belong to this cult. And I will never believe in such a garbage. Thank you very much, and may the Lord bless you all. Take care.